Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Firaxis live stream. I'm Pete Murray, joined this week by a very special honored guest, the one, the only Beagle Rush, who is here to play on today's stream. Thank you very much for coming out to the studio. Thank you for having me. No, right, it's but, uh, been a lot of fun. We've had a lot of fun. You've had a chance to meet with some of the guys from the team. Mm -hmm. We've uh, it's been very cool. Had some very amusing games of XCOM going on. So yes, we have. Yes. You brought a save game with you. Yes. This is a continuation of a campaign that you had started earlier, correct? Yes, that's right. Uh, fans might remember this one. Uh, this is the Van Dorns and Jo campaign, and they should know from that. Uh, this is one we were playing around release time. Yep. So we're uh, picking this one back up for today, playing a little bit more of that. So uh, we're about seven days from Powered Armor finishing, so we're getting towards the later game, third tier side of tech. Uh, and we're going from there pretty much. All right, so let's uh, just jump right into the game here. So I'm going to let you drive, actually, because... Let me take the wheel? Please. Oh, God. I Eagle think people have seen enough of me playing. All so, right. Uh, okay, well, uh, we're going to hop straight in. Uh, to the Geoscape because the next thing we have to do is... Oh, yes, as we were playing just before the uh, the show started. Yeah, a, uh, we were getting the Geoscape ready, getting up to the next mission from where we left off the save, uh, and it, we're going to do a landed UFO. Uh, we got Shadow Chamber enabled so we can see what we're heading into there. We got a, a heavy lancer looking pretty tough. Yeah, um, But apart from that, hopefully we'll be okay uh, with our you know, mix of plated and mag weapons right now. Um, so we should be good for Phelan Scepter. All right, well, let's... Uh... Failing Scepter. <laughs> that sounds great, doesn't that it? That sounds really optimistic. I, I was saying to Pete, like, just before we started, like, I'm going to crash and burn for no reason just because I'm here. So, so I'm, I'm feeling great. It's Failing Scepter. Nothing is going to go wrong. The difficulty is very difficult. Happen. Yes, but uh, fortunately, it looks like you have a pretty solid team of people going. So I have a solid got, squad. Yeah, you've got uh, two Grenadiers packing plenty of alien grenades. Oh, I'm pretty sure I've got That three. guy looks like Abraham Lincoln. He does look like Abraham Lincoln. This uh, He came looking like this. Uh, in one of our campaigns, Vlad uh, Vladimir Morozov, uh, we gave him the nickname President because he just came looking like Abe. Uh, and I put him into my character pool and he's shown up in a lot of campaigns since because he's Ukrainian Abe Lincoln now. This is our folk hero guy. I like it. Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got three Grenadiers because I was not slacking on this campaign. I've got three Grenadiers. No. Well, we got Racket Man, we got uh, Hammer, we got Ben David. And okay. then we've got uh, Devil Dog Murray, the Ranger, Phantom I believe. Uh, Shade is a pure sniper, not a gunslinger, so okay. she's just sniping. And then we got Solzy. Oh, Solz is we, there! Yay! So Solzy Chris Solzbeck, well. the lead character artist uh, for XCOM, has made an appearance from the dev pool mm -hmm. into here. How's he set up? Uh, he is a specialist. So he is a combat specialist. He's got protocol, combat protocol, haywire protocol, scanning protocol. Whoa! Killzone? Yeah, he actually got Killzone in AWC. So he's been pretty instrumental in a lot of missions, setting up quick Overwatch ambushes with that. Mm -hmm. So, Solzback does pretty well for himself. He, he honestly does pretty damn well for himself as a specialist, so... That is amazing. So between all of them, we have got a pretty reliable team. I remember we wiped at the beginning of this campaign, okay. uh, more or less. We got everyone captured, uh, and that's why Van Dorn's in prison. Um, but then we, we came back, uh, and when I stopped playing this one, we just kind of finished coming back and we were feeling good. So now it's time for Failing Scepter to go back down. To, to, uh, and so go back down to where we started. I doubt that. I doubt that. I think, okay. I think we have what it takes uh, to make this successful. So I hope so, yeah. It's a pretty good setup. Two Mimic Beacons. Yeah, I, I was going hard on the Mimic Beacons when we were playing this. Like I said, I was coming back from below, so there was no holds barred. Mm -hmm. uh, mimic Beacons were not banned. Uh, at all in the comeback trail. Okay. Uh, three Grenadiers, it doesn't get much more explosive than that. Uh, the sniper's been doing pretty well. Uh, it was my first sniper I've really used much. I usually use Gunslingers. It's okay. my first real sniper sharpshooter. Um, we're sitting on Predator armor right now. We haven't built any war, uh, exosuits or spider suits because we haven't got any Illyrium cores and we're about to hit powered armor, so we're saving them for that. Okay, but great. Apart from that, uh, we're geared up. Uh, I'll save you all the trouble of looking through my upgrades because I think we're good to go. Yeah, that's the uh, flashbang. You got Solzy with the with the skulljack. That's mm -hmm. okay. Looks great to me. Looks fantastic. Yep. If you are ready, Pete, as my co-commander, I am. Please. I am ready. I am merely here no, to no, provide no. color commentary. No, to no, your no, 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 no. Yes. You are the co-commander, and I will hear nothing of it. You are the co-commander. I just and and at this Junior. point, we were able to identify exactly when this campaign went back off the rails. Well, you know, it actually would be your fault because even though it wasn't your fault, actually, if we fail now, I can blame it on you. It's I, that's a fair that's a fair. Yeah. Well, you, you're you're the junior commander. You're like Bradford. You're Yay! Central. That's exciting. <laughs> All right, so we're loading in. God, that's really. 
You really did a good job with the customization too. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody is uh, is nicely geared. I mean, up. you guys did a good job making the stuff. Um, you know, we had fun. I, I did a better job using it, of course. But you guys did a pretty good job building it, so you know, it was there to use. Can I add? Uh, can I add Co Commander to my LinkedIn profile? If I, <laughs> if I put Co Commander down as a skill, would you uh, would you endorse that? I would endorse that. Okay. Well, if we win this mission, I'll endorse that. If we lose anyone, I won't. If we lose anyone, or if we lose the mission? If we lose anyone at all, I will not endorse that. So. Oh. You act, I'm just oh, gonna, I'm just oh, gonna put it on so the line. So you're just gonna make it, and this is a okay. Yeah. Good, and it's a landed UFO mission. I like to put it on the line. Enemies. Pete. I like to put it on the line when I play. So you I like, certainly have done. I want you to have something on the line as well. Uh, I'm not used to this keyboard, so I will be ginger with my movements, so I don't do what I did before. I accidentally pressed the wrong button. Yeah, wouldn't it suck if you misclicked on the live stream? Boy. Right. Oops. Boy. That's all right. The we'll best just... part is everybody totally understands. That's all right. We'll just load the game again. Oh, oh, oh wait. Oh, wait. You can't. All right, let me hop on over here. So the nice thing about... You seem quite scared of the UFO. Tell me about your experiences with landed UFOs, Pete. Tell me all about it. So, so um, first time I ran up against a landed UFO, it was actually three days after an Avenger defense mission that went really, really badly. Okay. Uh, I was right. I, I had not gotten everybody on plasma yet. Um, the the foe load was, was pretty high. It was actually the first time I'd run into Andromedons. Um, it was just, it was messy. I couldn't get control of anybody. I couldn't borrow any, any enemy units to use uh, as scouts or, uh, you know, unwitting uh, defenders. <laughs> so the A team was pretty much out. You know, everybody was in AWC and the engineer was there, you know, patching everybody up. And then it's, you know, landed UFO. You know, what do you want to do? And I'm like, oh, well, you know, it's a landed UFO. I can't not Right, you got to do, do it. it. It's because too it's, good. Yeah. Um, but I'm going in with, uh, you know, sergeants and, and, and corporals and one rookie. And it's, you know, I, oh gosh, I, I guess, uh, Heading there now. you know, so you had a very first level 13 or, or 14, and it was, it was a mess. I mean, I got my butt handed to me. So you had a very traumatic experience. I did. And now that's colored all it, it, your it opinions. Has, all of my UFO approaches since then have been um, kind of a combination of uh, overwhelming firepower and uh, overwhelming incompetence. You just blow well. everything so, up. Yeah, well, you know. That's, that's the XCOM tradition. That's been going on for years. Really. I, yes, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm fascinated because usually I have to sit in a, a, a room and talk to myself about it. So I'm fascinated to hear your opinions on the UFO mission. And uh, that, that, that does explain your trauma. Speaking of trauma, oh God, uh, we have Did double potted. Did you just, you double potted? No, they're not active luckily, but we okay, have good. Codex, Shield Bearer, Lancer on the right. And then I didn't actually see everything over here. So we're going, to move, we're going to move again and get Get that battle on. scanner up there. Oh no, you're going to move again? Yes, I will, I will scout them. So we've got Viper, Sectoid, Sectoid, Codex, and I think that's one pod. So sure looks like it. Yeah. So we're going to want to see which one of these guys is moving, and then we're going to pick them off solo. I'd imagine it's these left guys, but generally I find on the UFOs, one of them sits still, and then the rest of the patrols move. Okay. So what we'll want to do is we're going to want to move around and look for an opportunity to ambush the moving patrol and use that against them. And then once the time is ticking, we're going to need to move fast, obviously, because it's UFO, to hit the, hit the device. So are you going to blow a hole in the side and let Salzy remote hack, or are you going to That's actually, actually a, go in? This is why you're junior commander. That's actually a really good idea. I've never done that. That's actually really smart. I'm, I'm a big proponent of knocking a hole in the side of the building and letting the specialist hack it. I, I mean, as I, far as I'm concerned, that's how you do it. I, I have not done that with a UFO yet, so that is actually a quite a smart idea. I'm going to bring myself around to the side. We have definitely got enough grenades to do that, so that's definitely something to keep yeah, you in mind. You need, what, two, two grenades? Two plasma grenades, you should knock most of the interior partitions out. Well, I mean, we want to we want to have some left over to kill everyone else as right, well. Right, right, right. But well, I think know, we should have lots enough. Lots of options. You can be the general contractor. Oh, this, is, this, is good. this wall's got to come out. This is fine. You, yeah. know, you don't need this. This isn't, UFO a, load, to, this isn't a load bearing UFO wall. You know what? You want to get your UFO to Osho, you're going to waste a lot of money. Just, just get it done right. It'll fly. That's all you need. It's not. Don't tell them that. It's terrible. They'll have a lot of workplace accidents I'm in gonna, this UFO. I'm going to. Okay. Okay, they're coming. So these guys Wait, want some. So split these pod, two guys are coming. Yeah. And Codex is going to stay still. So. Are they a split pod or did these guys just decide not to move? I wonder if they're part of the same pod or not. Regardless, 
I so now feel, what happens? I so feel as though happens. I will attack them because we don't want to let them uncover us. Obviously, that would be very bad. Um, so Salzi, we're going to set up some kill zone in here. I like that. Kill zone is Boy. a very good start. So, so I'm going to go for the far guys because they're. Wait, no, I need to go for these guys to activate them first because these guys are going to move. If you, if you, stationary. can you actually? Yeah. Okay. So if you tick it up a little bit, it looks like you can get um, the sectoid, the viper, and codex in there. Now, maybe you don't want to <laughs> pop the codex right away, but well, you're she right. Won't They'll split pop. until. She's finished moving through the cloud. You're absolutely right. Track. See, um, though I was I was giving myself more margin for error because if you don't give them enough space, you don't hit the Overwatch because it's it's the zone you shoot, not the enemies highlighted. Okay. Um, but you're right. I've still got a tile extra, and we'll hit the codex as well, uh, and that'll be good. So we're gonna kill zone. Okay. This is why you're co-commander. You're helping me so much already. Well, I'm. I'm... No, this is good. I love it. This is this is actually really helpful because otherwise I wouldn't be able to remember this. Senpai I just been so long. noticed me. <laughs> We're gonna, um, we're gonna double okay. kill zone. Double. Uh, <laughs> this is the disgusting part, and then we're gonna start overwatching uh, with everyone else. So you can't move. You can't move. Uh, I'm not gonna tempt fate with you. President can, but I don't want to activate those guys in the UFO. So we're gonna sit right where we are. Okay. So who gets who gets to begin the proceedings? Um, they do. We're gonna oh, you're gonna that, you're gonna wait for them to pass. Yes, into... that is the beauty of kill zone is we make them do it, and that is the most. Nasty way to ambush aliens because then they nice. don't get to react. Nice. Okay. The viper's so, dead. Viper's down. Man, that dropped way quicker than I thought it would. I, I'm surprised they're really dead. Well, let's see what happens now. He's going to call in for a pizza. I mean reinforcements. <laughs> you know, okay. sectoids can just psychically call for pizzas, so they're really lucky. Now we need to kill the codex. Please hit Seven down. hit on the Codex, that's pretty good. Oh, oh yes. got it! Good job! And that's what I need from Shade. And now the Codex doesn't clone, we just have a couple of down. sectoids. Right. The, the other sector just sat still, which is great, and we've got six turns to get in and smash that. Uh, good. So oh, we need and Witchy's flanking somebody. Yeah, we got flanks on a bunch of them. Now, here's what I'm scared of, Okay. is if we start to move in, we are going to... So that interior that pods, that... that um, the other Codex, the Lancer, and the Shield Bearer are going to pop so, out. So, let's see. Uh, where's my specialist? Where's Solzy? Um, he's right here. So, let's estimate. Let's do some assessment here, Co-Commander Junior. Um, so, we're going to need how many turns here? We're going to get in. Uh, okay. uh, we can blow a hole in the wall. So, I'm going to say you want three turns. Three turns. So, we can, with your assessment, of course, with your contracted assessment, oh God. a consulted assessment, I'm going to take that to my XCOM company and I'm going to say, we can spare a turn to kill these sectoids without risking moving up and activating the I would agree with that. I would agree with yes, that. Yes, I think we can do that. So, let's see what we can do. If I bring, you're going to have to do this, Yacht Club. So, if I bring Yacht Club Racket Man to the side, this is a friend of mine named Racketman who is really posh. So we named him Yacht Club and we gave him a monocle. I noticed the monocle before. Yacht Club is a good is a good nickname <laughs> yeah. for that kind of a guy. In fact, that guy on the right, I forgot, that guy on the that sector on the left is totally like flat footed. He didn't run because we caught him in the kill zone. So he's like, right. oh my god, my best friend the Viper is dead. So we can just move up and kill him if we can get an angle on him. It's uh, he's standing there, you know, the blood splattered on him, shaking slightly, going, Yeah, exactly. What, what happened? I, I, it's a nice side effect you'll see from Killzone where that happens, where they'll they'll frequently get flat-footed by it, yeah. And you get to just you know, do it's this. like it's like it's like putting acid grenades in the drop zone that they whoa. <laughs> bye bye. Nice peasant sectoid trash. Very nice. Get out of here. Very nice. Boy, you're you're hard. You're you're really. I don't like you're aliens. Really, you don't like aliens. Look, at I need all. to stop right now. Do you like aliens? No, 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 no. I would. You sure? No, I would have. Figured for somebody who had logged as many hours as you have, you would have something like um, not res maybe not a love right. of them, but a grudging respect Honest, for them. Honestly, like, can, I do, and I flip can... between. You know, sometimes I will find the last sector on the map, and I'll set up proxy mines and some area around him, and I'll just make a little trial by fire for him. Yeah. But sometimes there's a begrudging respect, and you know, I, I don't you know torture them. But you know, <laughs> it's whatever the day needs. You know, I'm a man of many, many faces. I, I, a man of many talents. <laughs> All right, so this is that's great. So that's the turn to, to wipe those guys out. Mm -hmm. And now we can Fiona move up with the didn't phantom. actually. Yeah, and she doesn't see them, which is interesting. Did yes. they move? I guess they moved deeper into the UFO. I'd imagine they've puffed off. I'm going to take the so. Risk would you off. go to that high cover? So towards yeah, Over here? yeah. Well, what I'm thinking is that might be good, and that gives me more eyes on the right as well. 
Um, normally I don't mind the cover I take too much as a phantom. The only possible risk I'd say that can happen here mm -hmm. is if we have the pod hiding in fog, we might get picked off by the phantom tiles as we move in, they might detect us. But yeah. that seems unlikely. So, uh, can what? I jump across this log? Yes, so that's fine. So yeah, we'll take that move. I like your move, Pete. I like your move. <gasps> I'm, I'm really just going to start Yay. hiring you to outsource my moves. Oh to you, god, this is terrible. <laughs> this is going to go badly. No, 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 it's great. Okay, you're, you're and we still didn't see him. We still didn't see him. It's interesting. It's time to start spamming our battle scanners, I think. We've brought tons of them because we have yeah, got armor. four of them, so... Well, it's because I haven't upgraded to the Exo and War suit, uh, Wraith suits yet. Okay. That. So I have these extra item slots and nothing to do with them. So I just brought a bunch of scanners, a bunch of mimics. So we're going to chuck the handy dandy new improved battle scanner yep. in. Throw it all the way we're in. We're going to see what we can see. Throw it all the way in. I love that these go through walls now. It was really annoying before, like, they wouldn't work through things, but now you just see everything and it's wonderful. It's, um, you Whoa. know, the, the tech gets... Where'd they go? They were there a turn ago, right? They were. Where? They're just gone. They're gone, girl. They're just out of here. So, push it? I guess we push it. Uh, where's another scanner? I need more scans. I don't trust this at all, Pete. This is, this is like they've deep striked and they're going to flank us. This is like their whole play. Yeah, is come yeah this us? is pretty much. Well, you know what? I, so you got... I've cleared it. I shouldn't activate moving up. It's just... I, it, yeah, I've cleared put, it. Put Solzy in. I mean, this, this would be great. You this, can spare yourself a big pile of grenades. This should be safe. I so mean, I'm just going to point out that you're dashing a guy all the way up. So the next time anybody on our on our stream yells at me for <laughs> dashing with the last soldier move on a turn, I'm just going to be like, I have authorization to make that move. Well, you'll be the co-commander soon, Pete. God oh. willing and uh, would and, knock it. And the, and the creek don't rise. Yeah, that'll be. Um, <laughs> all right, I, I don't again, if they're on the, but do. they weren't on the right. We just scouted them. They weren't there, were they? So we move in. They shouldn't be there unless they are dirty cheats, which I would not expect of the, oh my God, why are they there? They, so did they walk out and walk back? They're I filthy guess. cheats, Pete. They are, they are, I'm, I'm horrified by this. I'd like your, I'd this. like your take on this because I think they're filthy cheats. I, I And wow. I'm a filthy cheat, so I would know. Wow, all right, so. I can't believe they're there. All right, that's fine. That's all right, that's totally okay. And See, I'm this is the it. sort of incident that you're like, oh yeah, yeah, this is a manageable situation. I'd be like, ah! Oh, we're good, we're good. So we've got to worry about Public enemy number one is the Stun Lancer. Despite being the easiest unit in the game, he is who I will prioritize in this fight. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> then we've got the Shield Bearer. Yeah, yeah. So, let, you know, we're doing our little... I like to do our consulting analysis as Pete. So okay. I'd say, Mr. Shield Bearer, based on his Google search history and his, his personality, he's likely to shield his, his friends. Right. Uh, the Stun Lancer is very likely to kamikaze charge us. Right. And the Codex is probably going to teleport and rift us if she can find a bunch of us, which is better than shooting us. So if we leave the Codex, we want to prioritize the Lancer first, stun, uh, Shield Bearer second, and the Codex last. So we're so right now she's going to pop outside the UFO and she's going to rift the guys who are hiding behind the log there, Solzy yes. and um, yes, and, uh, exactly right. The other thing is if we throw mimic beacons then they are very likely to play with them. So you're going to use the Mimic Beacon now, or are you going to hold off and see if you I'm can get I'm going to hold off. I like to... You know what? I love the way we talk like this. I feel like I'm on a cooking show. So yeah. you know what, Pete? I just like to hold those ingredients, the Mimic Beacon, <laughs> until we see how the souffle is cooking, and then if we need it, we throw it in. How much, uh, how much uh, Mimic Beacon are you adding? Is that a tablespoon, or are you just kind of like shaking you know, it You just go to do it by instinct, honey. You know what? When you, uh, you do enough cooking, you just know when it's time for the Mimic Beacon to start adding, all right? That's... Um, that's the best analogy I've ever heard for, <laughs> for playing XCOM. This seriously, I am I'm enriched. Just just enriched with flavor, you know. Just add a little. So um, you brought up one of your heads. So that's Abe Lincoln. Yeah. Um, Abe Lincolnov has come up. <laughs> Abe Lincolnov. The main problem is these two are too far back to help. Yeah. So Mimic Beacon will be a friendly little friendly little. So pal. can you thread one in and at least wreck the cover in front of the sunlight? Look at that. Am I allowed to do this on the official stream? I don't think I'm allowed to do that. Um, do what? Do what? Exactly. I don't, think I'm, I don't think I'm allowed to do that. Yeah. Uh, I can't get a grenade in. Okay. So what we will do instead is we will mimic these people with absolutely no mercy. Okay. That's what we will do. I'm all right with that. Um, and then we'll probably overwatch Mr. Lancer because I'd say he's still going to run at us regardless. Do you think he will go for the beacon? Yes. Okay. With all of my being, I do. Okay. Um, so you're going to... I'm just going to make it easy for him is what I'm going to do. Uh, I... 
don't think they will kill it with its 10 health. I've been wrong before, but I don't think they will kill it straight up if I put it here. So if I put it here, actually no, no, yes, yes, put it here. Yes, come to me, Stun Lancer. And then I need to put it inside of the Codex, no. So we'll put it like right about here. Okay. What we want is we want them all to shoot it and we want the Lancer to charge it hilariously. Right, which he will do. So if he doesn't, it's Solzbeck's fault because he threw the beacon and he programmed it. So okay. So it's entirely just, his fault. Yeah, exactly. Fault. So we're gonna move up with Rebecca and we're going to move up with Ben David. Okay. Uh, you're going to overwatch. And the Codex is very likely to teleport out and just, you know, do the thing. Uh, which which is okay. We can reload and we can hopefully... So are you going to group those guys? Because putting Ben David there is... Yeah, that's... It's a target for the for the Rift, definitely. So you are definitely setting up a Rift target. Those uh, back three guys as a Rift target. Possibly. Right if this beacon is still alive after these two, uh, the Codex will take a standard shot at the mid beacon instead, I think, if my ingredients are right and the temperature is correct. So hopefully that's what's going to happen. Okay. Uh, Devil Dog... The best thing Devil Dog can do here is just overwatch shoot the Lancer as it runs the beacon. This will all go wrong if the beacon gets crit, but you know what? Here we are at Fractus Studios, Pete. I'm ready to do it live. Uh, let's do it live. Yes. Let's see what happens. We can do it live all the time. Okay, so, so we're going first goes. with the Codex. Oh. You want to shoot the beacon, don't you? Yes, you do. Now, that's not great because that's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, no, it isn't. That's fine. I'm well, fine. the good part is uh, Codices are, you know, a little bit myopic. Yeah, that's... A oh, hello. Okay. So these guys are coming in. This is... This is not... Well, you're you're now operating in what's called a... Grenade, oh. A target-rich environment. Yeah, but... Oh, bye-bye. But, but the Stun Lancer is free to act now. But it doesn't matter because he's going to go for the Mimic Beacon and we're all going to be... Okay, so what's... what's he wants to just hug do? his little... Oh, my God. You guys are just terrible. I'm, I'm great at this game, Pete, and I want you to pay attention because I, this is how it's done. Tell me how it's done, Beagle. Oh, please hit the beacon. Yes, thank you. That was worrying me. Hello! I have covering fire. And I'm going to miss because I'm also bad at the game. Well, that's all right. In, in this case, it was... <laughs> <laughs> so, so my mimic beacons always get critted by, you know... Really? Because things, this happens so. all the time with mine. I, oh, I'm a cheater, man. I suppose. Oh, man. Um, this is my experience with mimic beacons. Is It's hilarious to watch Advent not kill them. Uh, is they, 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 f they flounder really badly against beacons for me. They just don't hit them. So, and I love it. So you've got all sorts of options now. The officer doesn't change, wouldn't change the mix up much for me, I guess. Um, the getting marked as a target is not great, but I, I feel like there's other targets I would sooner take out Tell on Tell me your turn. priority list right here, Pete. What do you do in this situation what do right I do now? I want to know. This situation right now. Yes. So um, I would probably take Fiona mm -hmm. and... Hmm. What, what would you do, Pete? What, what would you do, what would you do, you do with Fiona? Do, what would you? Do? I would pull <laughs> Fiona back out of the UFO. Would you? Actually, uh, would I? I mean, so I mean, would you? My priority targets are probably the shield bearer. Yes. I don't like the Codex. I I know I know it's possible to to handle them, and I mm -hmm. know we were lucky not to get bubbled up this turn. Mm. But I feel like the the Codex is is a good one to take down. Yes. Early on, because they are not fun people to live with. I no. Like codexes. No, no, no. And with uh, with the with the shotgun there, you're going to be able to take a big clip off the hit points, which is should make it easier for the rest of the squad. Yes. To clean if you're going to try to one shot a Codex to prevent cloning, a crit enabled shotgunner is your best bet. Absolutely. I feel I feel good. However, I'm not going to do that. All right. Because I want to go kill the officer. Should I reveal more enemies? You will have been right. This is the drum roll. Okay. When we are at four turns on the distress beacon, so I, I know we're dealing with the with the internals here, but Sol hey, is going to Hey, you gave in. me that risk assessment. You said we had plenty of time. All right. Now we've got an 80% to crit here because I believe... I don't have talent rounds, but I have a laser sight. And for those of you who haven't converted to laser sights yet, uh, that's the wrong one. I just want you to understand that laser sights are very good. Oh, and yeah. They give you a lot of crit. And Definitely. You should be using EOTechs on your shotguns a lot. Definitely. That said, we will roll the 20% so, off the crit. Yeah. So I had a. Um, bye bye. Amazing. All right. That All was right. your idea, Pete, by the way. Uh, no, it wasn't. That it was wasn't. Your idea. I am. I freely admit I called. I, that, called, that the, I called that ball wrong. That was all you. So what's, what's Solzy going to do? Solzy. Uh, are you going to wait? Solzy could skull mine someone. Uh, and he's gonna take a wound oh. if I fail that. I don't think I have many subs for him. I kind of need him on missions, so I'm probably not going to attempt that. Where is my other? There it is. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we want. Can a gunner get these two? Yes, they can. Okay, so we want to get these guys. We want to get them gone. We want to get these guys gone. So we're gonna move up with Racket Man. Okay. 
and we're going to remove these peasants from the UFO right now. <laughs> so I always feel like, I don't know if you actually get resources from the UFO anymore, but I always feel like I'm blowing up resources doing this because of EU, where you like lost alloys. Oh yeah, walls yeah it, was, it was terrible. I'm not sure if that still happens, and frankly, I, I'm just beyond caring because I'm going to kill these guys right now. Please do. So I just need to make sure I'm not killing myself, but that looks good. Yeah, it looks like you're safe. Yeah. Well, it's your fault if it doesn't. Oh wait, action friendly because it's the beacon. It's the beacon? Yeah. I'm sure it's just the beacon, Pete. It is the beacon. It is it? the beacon. It is the beacon. The UFO goes up in a huge fireball because I hit the power source and everyone dies. No, it seems we're quite good now. We're going to play the shred there, which is good because the shield bearers are quite Do tough. Do like the shred. Do the like shred, the shred. The shred is very good. Um, are you going to take the dead eye shot? Oh my god, do I have another shot? That's not right. No, I have Implaceable. Okay. Um, I'm unlikely to take the Deadeye shot because at close range the sniper rifle is quite inaccurate. Okay. Uh, and I'd probably rather take the mag pistol shot on one of the lancers. Um, but we're not done yet. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. Wait, there's more right now. Pete. Call now and receive more plasma grenades. Yes, please do. Um, so what we're going to do is... I think we need to think about killing this codex. Okay, so Souls is going to come up and... I hope there's no more enemies over here. Yeah, you do. Well, that is interesting, Pete. That is a big that's, pot. Uh, that's kind of unexpected. That's going to make unexpected, things very interesting. Unexpected, but not undeserved. That is a big pot of angry men. Um, so we've got a shield bearer. We've got a captain. Okay. A trooper and... So two troopers. Two troopers. Now, luckily, usually you get caught unawares when this happens, but we are less so. We are not flanked by this, so that's good. Uh, I still think it might be wise to shoot the codex, but if it doesn't kill it... We have to waste time finishing it off. So. How good is that repeater? Not very good. Okay. We can actually find out if we mouse down, I think. It's, a, it's a, just, it's just, it's a, basic just a standard repeater. repeater. I would okay. say that's very unlikely. So, so worst oh, case... Worst are case, you going to let the... You're going to switch to a new target? Yes, because worst case, the codex will simply rift us. Hopefully. We hope. Yeah. We're playing the Snake Charmer game, Pete. We're going to play the, the dangerous game. That so this was, this was the metaphor you used earlier, which is Snake Charming looks very, very easy until you realize... Yes. People until you try it yourself, and then it's... People were complaining. They're like, oh, the game looks too easy. And it looks easy until you try it and it goes wrong. And you say, oh, this game's actually a tad hard. Um, we need the beacon, though. We must have this beacon in place. So I'm going to bring Ben David to the side. Okay. This is why it's quite funny to have two beacons sometimes. Uh, and then if I bring Mirozov, no, leave him there. So we shall grenade these two. How much health do they have? They could potentially die to this, I think. They will. They will? You, you confirm it. That's uh, five on the shield bearer with one armor, which will get shredded, and four on the lancer. So, so I have your word this will kill them. Absolutely. Good. I'm glad because That's all right. it is your fault if anyone dies. <laughs> I'm willing to live with that. Well, oh, come on, Pete. It appears you're a huge liar. I am, in fact. I am, in I, fact. I don't know why you did that to me. Like, do you not like me? I, you know, I, I, I feel like I feel <laughs> you like don't I don't like deserve me. that question. I feel like our relationship has progressed to the point where I. I oh, it's going to regress I, it, it more, hurts, Pete. It hurts that you're calling into question my, uh, <laughs> my attitude. Okay, um, so um, what need, are you going to do now? We need to kill Mr. Lancer Man, and we're going to pistol him. Oh, uh, Shieldbearer, sorry. Yeah. Shieldbearer's strong, unfortunately. He survived the grenade. So we're going to come to the side. And we're going to... Pistol him in the face. Pistale with Shade, which he's going to bewitch him. So we're going to take a pistol. Okay. It's 100%. Right. The sharpshooters are great. How can it possibly miss? Excellent. It cannot miss. Oh! Gear. And you can get some stuff. That's nice. See? Aren't you glad it didn't blow up with the grenade? Because then you would have lost loot. You know what, Pete? You work in mysterious ways. I, you know... It's, I think you have to... When Pete Murray does something right... When life right, hands you lemonades... When Pete Murray does something right, you won't be sure wrong. he's done anything at all. He is yeah, a exactly. mystical force. Now, I am for the something. beacon, I think we will want to place it in cover. I believe the advent will still shoot it because they love holograms. Anything... You can't reach all the stuff on the right. I can't no. reach the right. So if I place it in the open with that much firepower... Yeah, it'll go down. It'll go down and we'll take fire. I believe if I place it in cover, they will still shoot at it because Advent cannot get enough of holograms and we will be good. Because Mimic Beacons can use cover. This is a one good tip from a stay-at-home commander. If you put Mimic Beacons in cover, they gain benefit from cover. They're just like a soldier. The last thing we have to do here is worry about Devil Dog and worry about Souls Back. Okay. So with Devil Dog, it's how much I want to bet. I mean, I've got running gun, so I don't need to get her positioning really good right now. I can get her out of there, mm -hmm. uh, ready for next turn. Here I come. 
I like that. With Cells back, I may do the same because if they can't see the beacon, they may say, hey, Cells back looks good in half cover. So, so they'll shoot him there. Yeah. It might be smarter to move Cells back to here. Now, the only way this can go wrong is if the advent goes, look, a cluster, and grenades the beacon plus shade, and then everything will come tumbling down. But I believe we'll be okay. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna bet my life on it. Or okay. souls backs in this case. And yeah. Plus, if it goes wrong, it'll be my fault. So that'll be good too. Well, I feel much better ever since understanding that it will be your fault if this goes wrong. Honestly, I, I feel very relieved to know that. She's not gonna rift again. Boy, she just hates that. They, hates that mimic beacon. Pete Advent love beacons. They love them. It it is it is a psychological problem. Okay. See, he can't see the beacons. So now here's here's an issue. Ow. See, we take we just took a hit. Yeah. And that's because they couldn't see the beacon, unfortunately. Now, if more troopers are like that captain, we're in trouble because we could lose a trooper. But they're going for the beacon. We're okay in cover. Who is that? That's Racket Man. So that'll be a, a Grenadier down for our next mission, should we survive so long. And with Shield Bearer, is he gonna, he's we're gonna take the shot too, yeah. Thank Fine, God. they're terrible. Well, they're he's, terrible. In, he's in heavy cover, Pete. It's pretty safe. It's, it's in heavy cover. We're, we're cooking up a variation on the Mimic Beacon surprise. This is the covered beacon. You put some pastry over the top and you let it rise up and, and it's doing good. So do you use a puff pastry or do you use just a, like a standard pie crust kind of thing? Is this something that I could go into my super... Wow, somebody's on fire! Uh, you know what? That's part of cooking, Pete. People catch on fire. It's dangerous. <laughs> Don't do it at home. Uh, is, is Chris really on fire? Yes, he is. Oh my God, Chris is actually on fire. That is not part of my plan. Okay. I didn't want Pete to be on, uh, Chris to be on fire. I didn't, I, he's, we need him to not be on fire. He's got he's kind of DLC important. he needs to work on. <laughs> um, Maybe he's on fire, like, man, I'm just busting man, through this he's DLC. he's just blowing through it. I'm on fire. Uh, so, so we're gonna kill, we're gonna assassinate this captain. That's uh, step one of my plan. Okay. Step two is we're gonna grenade these hapless troopers and they will die. Uh, step three is the shield bearer does whatever it wants, I think. So... All right. One, two, three, four. We're gonna move to this position. I sure hope there's no more enemies over here, Pete. I, boy, do I hope that's the case too. Boy, I can't wait to play XCOM right now. Okay, we got 78% crit. Please crit, that would be so helpful That would be me. really helpful. Hey. You called it, you called it. Well, you know what? I am not Nostradamus. 80% crit does help with that a, a, a tiniest bit. I'm lucky uh, in that sense. Um, so now we also have to deal with the codex. We can still force it to rift us if we're extra cheeky, and I'm always cheeky, so we can <laughs> do that. Um, but we need to double grenade with preferably Prez and uh, Hammer. Okay. So if we can get them up, we don't have, we've blown up all the cover, unfortunately. All the cover is gone, and this stupid beacon is still taking this spot. So that beacon is, you know, it's like it giveth and it taketh away. Yeah, in this case, it taketh away a really useful cover point. Yeah, we knew that. We needed to take. I, I don't like the taketh away in it is doing. Um, so we're probably going to move to here. So that's, okay. I hope we can grenade through there because that is a large part of my plan at the moment. I, w I'm, I will freely admit this is a huge part of my plan. Is this working? Oh, praise. Praise Solomon and the Lords. <laughs> it is indeed it's, bountiful. Uh, it's, bountiful that, was a good, that was a good... You know, um, a good prayer. To I, it was. It was. I don't. It's generally not a good idea to make him think that highly of himself. <laughs> I do want to point out that we are three turns from uh, the distress beacon going off. We are under a little bit of time pressure at this point. You're just like Central. This is great. I'm just. I'm just calling to your attention the when fact that when we get that on the retaliation is, mission, you're going to be like Beagle. You've lost a civilian. <laughs> I. I promise you, I will not call out the body count. There's a very helpful please, piece of UI please, that does that. No, 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 do. no. Far be it from me. I think I'm, I don't want Souls back to be on fire, Pete. Where I don't I, want him to be on where fire is my either. Kit? Who did I put that on? On the sniper. Shade. That's okay. So we're going to make Souls back not on fire. By standing next to the fire? I don't want to hear your sass. Uh, that's, a, that's a problem. I'm merely, as co-commander, I am legally <laughs> obligated to point out environmental hazards. This is, as it happens. That's an issue, yeah. I'll, I'll give you that one, all right? That is an issue. I'm gonna fix that issue. No, I'm not. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> that is a problem, Pete. I want to extinguish the flames of Chris's heart, but there's nowhere to move that isn't on fire. You know what? It's gonna be fine, because by next turn we'll have won. This is going to be a good turn. I believe you. You shouldn't. He said. 
You don't get it, Racket Man. The man who caught on fire gets it. Because he, he just could not stay away from the fire, Solzbach. He's like, I'm actually wounded. He's only theoretically wounded. Chris Solzbach is no longer burning. <laughs> man, I hope when he moves, he doesn't reburn. No, he's good. That would have not made me a happy chappy. So I think we'll leave the Codex and pray for its uh, benevolent rifting. And we're going to go for the grenade here. Okay. Uh, oh, God, but I need good cover or else goodbye to Solzbach. Um, so here we'll be fine uh, for Racket Man. On my way. Little grenade of Racket Man. Racket Man is very rich, so he has lots of grenades. He has lots of grenades. Yeah, it's really handy, honestly. I would recommend rich people for your grenadiers. Friendly fire? No. You're blowing up the terminal. Blowing right? up the console, yeah. You know that's the way you can... I think you can win the mission doing that. I'm not sure. You, I... either, win, you either win or lose doing it. So yeah. I would say try it at home. It's one of the two. I think it's winning. <laughs> I think it's winning. If this wasn't an Iron Man game, I'd be like, ah, we'll just reload the save and we'll see what... But you're, you're playing on... Uh, you're, there's this is no, on Iron there's Man. There's no cheats being taken here. This no. Is, uh, this is serious business. No, this, this, is, this is on Iron so Man. So we're down to... Oh, I know what we're doing. Yes, go on, Pete. Go no, on. No, 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 no. I'm just... To recap the situation, we've got Codex back here. We've got, uh, we've got the shield bearer up there. We have three turns till the distress beacon fires. It's time for chain shot. I like that. Morozov like will show us the virtues of chain shot because he's not going to miss because you've got to rely on him to miss and that's really the key here. It's uh, Did I say rely know, on 70, him to miss? 75% is, is practically 100. Yeah, and there you go, there's a 10. a lot of shots. Now don't you dare teleport because this is the best part. Don't go anywhere folks because here we go. And that's how you uh, cook up a codex. That's, that's amazing. That's amazing. It's Un uh, Unlike most dishes, you don't cut up the codex. You it, want it to just be dead in it's one still, piece. It's still tender on the inside, and the, the outside is that crispy, crispy shell. How I mean, do you know what amazing. a codex is like it's on the amazing. inside, Pete? Are you, like, made of data? <clears throat> that, is, that is odd. I'm actually a very unsophisticated computer simulation. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a series oh. of nested Markov chains. Don't say that. You're very sophisticated. <laughs> I am program. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> how is computer today? How are you, Mr. How, how is computer Rush? today, Pete? How is computer? How is computer today? Is computer good? I don't know. Solzy should ask computer how it is today. <laughs> now, for our last turn, we can have Overwatch, which is honestly a fool's errand. It will not do anything to save us because we won't kill him. Except unless they're a Peter Prox. So instead, we can perhaps combat protocol someone. Does anybody need to be combat protocol? You do, because if you get shot, Miraculously through heavy cover, you will die. Aid protocol. So we'll give you. Did you I say were, combat protocol? You did, in fact, say combat. I don't want to tase him. <laughs> I want to aid him. Very big difference. Get, don't get that wrong. Yeah, exactly. Don't tase me, bro. <laughs> okay. And then and Devil Dog's done for her action. I'm not even gonna take my move. I'm just gonna sit here like I can see you. I'm just gonna backspace. Wow. wow. I can see him. That's taunting. It is not. Oh wow! Oh. I shouldn't have done that. Wow! I'm the stupidest man alive. And a crit. I didn't think he could get to me. And a crit. I honestly thought he would flank me if I moved. Well, you know what? That's what you get when you didn't tell me what to do, Pete. I, you, you, I, you were, your hands you were know flying what? across. You um, know what? The it, TV is so far away from the desk. Like, it looks further than it was. I was like, hey, you can't flank me from there. Okay. All right. No, I, I totally You don't sound you. like you believe me. I totally believe you. You don't. This is my believing voice. I have another one that I used to. It's believing voice too. I'm seeing why your computer programming is not sophisticated now. I see now what you're talking about. Stop all the downloading. <laughs> now I think it's time. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. I think Solzbach is going to show us his skills. Right now. Here we go at the Space Gym. Whack. Doink. And then we're dead. This is how he checks into the building every morning too. Really? Just so you know. Yeah. He now punches if, the security check. If Solzbach takes a wound, I'll be very displeased. I'd like you to click Begin Hack, Pete. <sighs> So he's officially making, I'm actually physically reaching across him to click the mouse. Oh! <laughs> Shake my hand. I am I shaking, think that's the last shaking enemy. your hand. That's I the think, last one. Let's see what happens here. I think you are now and forever uh, co-commander and junior commander-in-chief of XCOM. <laughs> Yay! It wasn't the last enemy. Crap. Oh, was it? No, okay, you're not yet. I take that handshake back. We're not out of the woods yet. Okay, well, <laughs> we've got two turns. There's more so enemies left. There's, There's, more. Left. There's more enemies. Okay, there were 13. We've killed Two many. codices, we, two we have advanced many. troopers, a heavy lancer, two officers. What are we missing? Two... Wasn't there a mech? Two... Hold on. Uh, sectoids. Viper? 
We got the Viper got the at the beginning. She was she was first blood. She was Rambo. I think, I think we are missing a mech. I believe there's a mech out there somewhere. Uh, does Abe maybe want to reload? I'm going to reload afterwards. You're not co-commander yet. Well, you all are. Right, right, Actually, right, you right, are. Right, I just right. haven't given you the all right, yet. All right, all right. I'm going to move up. Hey, you're not on fire, are you? Okay, great. Yeah. That would have not been happy. I've taken a lot of wounds on this mission, Pete. It's it's well, it's it's probably inferior co-commanding. No, in, in all seriousness, it's actually not good because these are the only guys I've got. So this actually is not a good look for me uh, with all these wounds. I'm not gonna lie, this isn't good. Maybe it's something about the computer. You it's know, so far you could, away, Pete. It it's, could, it's hard. It, it's uh, well, yeah. I, I mean, that monitor's all the way across the room. I misclick a lot. I, I don't know how you do it. It's like a TV. For, you know, it's like a commander screen for ants right now. You know, it's not my oh, fault. That's a lie, right, it's actually a pretty ahead. big TV. I'm just a baby. It's um, uh, but it is pretty far away. We're I'm gonna hack to the objective. Hack the objective. Yes. Now we can't lose. It's kind of. It's like a sector pod for the last pod and then we do lose, that wouldn't be good. Or maybe it's waiting for us to finish. No, this. it doesn't say neutralized all enemies. Pete, when you see this, do you think you go for the large cache or do you take the guaranteed small ones? So I go for the large alien alloy cache because. Hmm. Because, mm. so you don't apparently. No, no, I'm not saying anything. No, you, you, you're not saying. Let's rewind, nothing. Mr. Murray. So when you see this, what do you do? So, I, when I look at a hack screen, I look back and I say, okay, what is the worst thing that can happen in this situation? And I say, oh, guaranteed deactivate beacon. I'm like, okay, that's that's yeah. interesting. So at that point, everything to the right becomes gravy. How much gravy do I want? Do I want a little ladle of gravy or do I want a big ladle of gravy? And I think to myself, all right, well, I'm already raiding a UFO and I'm getting some alien alloys. So do I want more alien alloys or, or a little bit of alien alloys? So you steal all the, the gravy at Thanksgiving. I steal all saying. the gravy at Thanksgiving. That's incredible. Well, man, I'm going to do it your way. It's not going to work. It'll work. Man, why you take all the gravy, Pete? I took all the gravy. Why you take all the gravy? I took all the gravy. You took I'm my sorry. gravy. I'm sorry. Well, now we don't get anything. Now there's no gravy for anyone, Pete. People are gonna go hungry. Well, there's plenty. The, the UFO is made out of gravy, right? I, <laughs> right. So technically, it's a big. It's like technically, a it's you're a big asking. Gravy. Uh, see. Oh, we're see? done. Hey. There you go. You you are, all right. Hey, shake my hand. Okay. Again. All right. All right. Gravy I'm, stealer I'm, and co-commander. Yeah. And forever and always, you are the first and last co-commander of, of my games. Oh, I'm gonna phone you at the middle of the night. This has responsibility. Yeah. And unfortunately, yeah. In a 14-hour time zone difference, it's gonna be. Yeah. So hello. You're, you're gonna wake hey, up. Hey, it's Bugle. Bugle. I have the following tactical situation. I'm gonna be like, get the gravy. Yeah. It's 4 a.m. I'm it's waking up your wife up like, so do I take the 45 or the 100, Pete? And she's, she's gonna be like, what's the matter? Are the kids okay? I'm like, he needed to know whether to take all the gravy. <laughs> like, I what? don't understand that reference. Oh, hey, cool. So, oh. um, howdy, good timing. The reason we're all out of all surprised all of a sudden is Mark Nauda is joining us. Mark is one of the gameplay designers on, uh, on XCOM, so he's getting mic'd up. And uh, he's going to jump in in just a second, and we'll come back to the studio real quick so we can say hi to him. Watch you hook up your mic. Actually, uh, so there's a procedure for this, son. You can't. Do it. You can't. Okay. I can't either. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. Kevin's going to help us. All right. So let's do a recap here. So, Yachtman's uh, wounded. Uh, My oh. Phantom Ranger is gravely wounded, and that is a poor state of affairs for anybody who likes being a ghost. That's like going to be tough. It's it is going to be, be very tough. The Phantom is a big part of my strategy. So through this careless commanding, I have revealed myself as a chump. I would say I would say inferior co-commanding uh, no. is the issue here. So. You know, I, a lot of good VPs take the scapegoat blame, but I'm not going to let you take it. That was not your fault. You you cautioned against that. So uh, we're going to mash down way. a little bit. Yeah, Mark, squeeze towards me. Everybody squeeze I towards me. I don't know if I want to be this close. Yeah, you actually Oh, do. wow. That's I, a lot of fun. I take that personally. <laughs> all right. Yeah, all right. So come in the studio. <laughs> so, uh, no, all right. you're not. Oh, Stick to your guns. So you missed it. We had a really fun uh, oh, UFO engagement. Yeah, you oh, you were? Did well. We had an enjoyable time. Yeah, we had fun. We also got people wounded that didn't need to be, but that's part of the fun. You know, that happens. Yeah. You can't, you know. It happens It happens when I play bad, yeah. Well. It's uh, <laughs> inferior co-commanding. All right, let's jump back in because we have a heavy who's got uh, who's got an upgrade mm -hmm. or uh, uh, a promotion coming to us right now. All right, so right, we so. now have lieutenant, so we have a choice between heavy ordnance and hollow targeting. The question is, between three gunners, do we want more heavy ordnance or do we want more hollow targeting? <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm always for more explosions. As well, far as I'm concerned, you're you. not a resistance organization if you're not, you know, actively undermining the infrastructure. I 100% agree with you. Every time you click heavy ordnance, you inflict more property damage. So it is it's yeah. very helpful to exactly. click heavy ordnance. Uh, and in this case, because we haven't got shred up, I like to go either you're a grenadier or you're a gunner. I like to split my grenadiers. Down so the that's interesting. I actually build hybrid. Uh, out slightly differently. So I usually mm -hmm. pick Shredder instead of Blast Padding, I'll at head least to, the to start armory with. I can, but, uh, and you can have no, a look. No, 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 we can't. Right. Oh, but, uh, but you normally build what? Whoa, hold on. Look at all damn alloys. 92? That's if what? only we had more gravy. You know what, 92 gravy is a lot, but it doesn't fill the gravy boat, Pete. Because yeah. we got powered armor coming and that's a lot of gravy. Well, we got, <laughs> we got some gravy. Yeah, I so we the legend numbers for alloys are like 8.5 billion alloys. My powered armor is going to be very dry and it's Wait, your fault. Did you say 8.5 billion? <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot of gravy. All right, let's, uh, <laughs> let's go back in. All right, so we're going to continue on. So who's the... Oh. oh. Yeah. You know uh, that's what? That's a bad outcome. You want your ranger to get mind controlled anyway, so that's, that's fine. Yeah, because um, yeah, that's always... All right, so we have subwise no one. We have a corporal and we have a squatty. So... We're, we need to buy someone. We need to pray that Resistance HQ has someone to buy, I would say, my chaps. Um, so, oh, this, uh, we were looking at this uh, strategy setup earlier, and this was kind of... <laughs> Do you want more gravy? Oh, God. Not now. <laughs> Yo, dog. Gravy you like this mass grave. It's all gravy, man. It's yeah, all gravy. It's, it's all gravy. All right. <laughs> so, um, we were looking at this earlier, and I was like, whoa, Avatar Project. And, like, how much time do we have left? There's not a whole lot of time with three... This is the snake Three charming P. Is okay. I like to the way I like to maximize my time. So when I look at the Avatar project, I think if you do the black site and you're not already on the timer counting down the way it works right now, you're wasting time. I feel like really that okay. might be a, a bold thing to say, but I feel like you know if you know if you let the timer tick down, then you do black site. That's always there for you to do. Then that way you're gaining extra time while the timer was kicking down that you wouldn't have otherwise got. Right. So what I've tried to do here, and that goes wrong if you mess up the mission, then you lose the campaign and that's on you. But if you win the missions, you're fine. So what I've tried to do here is we pretty much ignored Avatar. Then we started hitting uh, Europe. We're pushing now into uh, you know the the Asian region. Right. Um, and we've got three facilities lined up. So once we finish this radio relay, we're going to have an easy contact to uh, New India. We can okay. do that facility anytime. We'll head up to West Asia and then, uh, you know, Northeast Asia, whatever this is over here, whatever it's called in the game. New Siberia. New Siberia, yeah. Cy Cyber Siberia. And then through doing that, we're trying to get the Asian bonus, which is suit up, uh, which is oh, yeah. nice. all armor and vest stuff is completed instantly. And with powered armor coming, that's going to be great. Uh, and then if we need it, we can cross down to Indonesia or New Indonesia, whatever the advent decided to call it. Don't they just call it that, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, and then we can have another facility down there. So as long as we don't get intel blocked, we do have alien cipher coming. Yeah, now pull up like dark events, because yes. this, uh, this is kind of scary. This is what will mess our plan up, is alien cipher. So as you were saying before, um, I also think vigilance is underappreciated for how awful it is. Yes, it depends on the map. Every time I've had vigilance, I've had wide open maps where it hasn't mattered. But if you get it on a city map, you have a lot of cases where there are patrols hiding around blind corners uh, and you don't know you're going to get revealed until you do. And I've, I've seen people complain about that, like, what? I didn't know I was going to get revealed. Yeah. Like, well, you couldn't see him. That's, that's right. Well, you should have countered vigilance. That was <laughs> that's your right. Fault. You should have countered vigilance. Yeah. You All weren't right. vigilant enough. So, so you're going to go back to the Resistance headquarters and see if you can yes. pick up a Ranger? Yes. First, we're All going right. to go. We need to get some subs in because if I can just check, before we do anything, I need to put an engineer in AWC to get the healing going. Oh, yeah. Because I took her out because we were all healed. So we have Garth. We have Garth in here as one of the engineers as well. Um, <laughs> Garth is an engineer. Tater Tots. <laughs> Tater Tots is a friend of mine uh, who we did up real good. Okay. Uh, she's got a nice cosmetic yeah. going. Good job, Tater. Good luck with that. There so we're AWC. AWC's going. Oh, that was actually the proving grounds because I'm stupid. So we already had someone in the AWC, oh, but I okay. want you guys to pretend that isn't. One so I'm really glad that we'll we put edit Dwayne that out in. It's, uh, it's really good. We'll that edit it out. Dwayne yeah. Hicks uh, is is now in there, uh, keeping an eye on things. That's, that's right. Uh, that's Dwayne fantastic. Hicks is a good is a good corporal to have in your base. So um, you've got these uh, you've got these guys floating around. And you haven't uh, done up more for resistance comms or more for. I just don't power. need them yet. You're just not. You're uh, gonna just optimize. Cause, just because I don't need the power or the resistance comms yet, I'm letting them like have free time, and then when I finally need to use them, they'll be motivated. Okay. Here's All my right. plan. Wow. Whoops. Wow. Um, so, if we go back in... So we're going to go back to RH, uh, RHQ, and we're going to... Uh, Actually, because I'm totally an idiot, we're going to look at what I meant to look at the first time, which is wound times. So we need to see this, so we're going to say... 
All right, so 19 days, not too bad for Fiona Murray. Uh, recommend, hopefully, be back soon. So we don't need a replacement Grenadier, hopefully. What we do need is potentially a replacement Ranger. Okay. If I'm very lucky, there'll be one at Resistance HQ. If not, we will deal. Adapt and overcome. See, yeah. mm. Adapt and overcome. So I ended up with a Phantom Grenadier in my last playthrough. That was uh, Ooh, the that sneakiest of classes. The it's, Grenadier. Yeah, it's <laughs> silent but deadly. Um, <laughs> silent um, for a time. Yeah. Yeah, and then, <laughs> yeah. You gave a whole new meaning to go loud. Oh. Uh, oh well. We'll deal. So, do you want to spin? No, I guess you don't want to spend time here. Well, if you're um, trying to get power to weapons, heal up. spending supplies on something that's, that's not right. ideal. That's right. We need yeah. them for the. We're about to hit powered armor. Uh, we can check the black market. Okay. There is some stuff I want from the black market as well. And you're going to trade intel? I'm considering it. Yes. Wow. I, I spend. I. I. You don't know. Oh, I spend so much on the black market. I go here all the time. I just spend, spend, spend. Um, I really want, because this stuff's so powerful, like, superior scope, that's such a huge boost for your troops, you know? Yeah. That takes a 75 chain shot to guarantee, no, no, it doesn't, I'm bad at math. It almost does. It takes an 85 chain shot to guarantee. Yeah. Um, and then superior perception, same thing. So, you know, I, I would stack these two on my, on my resolve, probably, on the Gunner Grenadier. Right. Um, so I might even buy them now, uh, because I'm feeling adventurous. Um, so I'm going to get the superior scope, because that thing is amazing. Okay. And I get the spirit perception because these things are amazing. I like aim. Uh, if I was greedy, if I was extra greedy, I would get the expanded mag as well. So the superior expanded mag on a sniper with uh, with kill zone is uh, kind of amazing. Pretty good. I've yeah. got the advanced mag on my kill zone sniper. I want to put the superior expanded on Sol's back because he's got kill zone right. as well from AWC. Hey, but, but we'll hold off for now. Real quick, mm. who is Doctor Original Hedgehog? Uh, oh my God, he is an it's the original Hedgehog. He is an original character, and I would like you not to steal him, Pete Murray. I would prefer no. if you did not steal that character. I was actually going to ask you to export him from yeah. the character pool, but that's okay. Okay, okay. just this that's once. That's okay. Just this no, once. No, you can, no, you, you can no, steal him because no. you're the co-commander. Mark will talk about it. Oh, okay. Sorry. But um, we'll talk later, you know, privately. Like the original egg hog. <laughs> egg hog. Yeah, I mean, you can't get that anywhere yeah. else. This is a no, Google Rush exclusive. It's, it's a... Uh, wow. So I suppose right. we should visit the mass grave. Radio relay? You're really going to pick up the alloys? Yeah, man. And you're not going to finish... Man, oh, your avatar project gravy. countdown is... Gravy! Gr well, but you haven't made I contact with any first, of the zones? Actually. Okay. Well, you know what? When it all goes wrong, you can laugh at me then. Oh, but until then, I am the snake charmer and you will, you will respect I will, me. I will respect yeah, what you're doing. Yeah. I'm standing here. The cobra is swaying back and forth. You know, when I was doing uh, the pre-release stuff, streaming, no one knew how the avatar timer thing worked yet. And I was just letting it tick up. And people were like, Beagle, you're going to lose. Can't you yeah. see it? Like oh a pantomime. Like, look behind you, Mr. Beagle. Yeah. And I was like, what? I don't understand what's going to happen. And then I got to it. I'm like, oh, you guys. That's tee-hee-hee. -hee. Tee-hee-hee. -hee. It was funny for me. So we're going to get the scientist. Um, Alien Cypher will probably kick in, and then we will lose. But that's OK, because I'm OK with that. Boy, I. Because you're right at the amount of intel to make yes. contact, pretty much. So. That's right. So if it goes up by 100%, you might not have enough. That's when the superior scope <laughs> loses us the game, yes. Yeah. We have alien debris cleared. You can see yes. very clearly. So <laughs> exactly. So Gorman and Kilroy have finished uh, clearing the debris. Okay. Uh, I don't have, think I have anything to build here right now. I'm not going to go for a workshop because I've already excavated a lot. So we're, you're here to see it. We just fully excavated everything. So it's all, it's all done out. It's all ready. We just need more buildings to place and then we're good. Uh, so they can just do whatever they want. They can have free time. I'm going to give them free time. I, I'm a nice man. You, you are. You're, you're you the are. Colonel Ty. You're the whip, yeah. and I'm, I'm the carrot. I'm the just alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> Pete takes the gravy. Yeah. Who do we get? Roll Serrano. At the fire axis. I don't know if you guys caught that subtle reference. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I, I what's what the, what's the reference? I don't get it. I don't, I, know, I don't actually. I don't, I don't get, get it. That. All right, so. It's alloy time. Next, mass gravy. Mass gravy, yes. Mass gravy. I'm going to call it that forever now. Thank you, Pete. Mass gravy. Okay. So we're going to go get mass gravy. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't call it that. I feel like, yeah, it feels a, a little Pretty big change in tone for yeah, what it is. Kind of. It's the <laughs> somewhere past irreverent and into. You know what? It's, it's fine. Oh, so here we go. Here are your targets. Here are your targets. We must stop Alien Cypher. Ooh, God. But that. I, I usually like to think that the difficulty of the mission reflects how bad the dark event is when I don't know what it is, and that's how I try to guess what the hidden ones are. Which makes me think that's something like sector pods on every mission, or two blocks to avatar progress in a more realistic. I like that you assume that the, <laughs> the mission generation is that smart. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I assume... Because it definitely is. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, but I know 
that we must stop alien cipher uh, or we are dead. Yes. Uh, so we can't do stuff. Or you could armor. just get the intel. Ooh. Be fine as well. That's actually not a bad idea because then by getting the intel, we counter vigilance. If we can ride out the increased intel costs for one month, it's gone. Right. That's almost a really good idea. And that intel cost doesn't affect the black market pro tip, so. Yeah, so we can keep buying stuff while we die. We can just like keep buying and live like a really hedonistic it's a metaphor. Month. This is really for America. Wow. This is, my palms uh, are sweating listening to this conversation. I wish I had someone I could turn to for this difficult decision, Pete. Uh, Mark, do you, uh, do you I'm care not to? I'm the co commander here. You're the co commander. I, I, There's you, a lot what? of responsibility what? in that. Do we, Pete? Do we? Do we? Do we just straight up counter alien cipher? Or do you think, and this is a difficult mission compared to very difficult, do we take the 115 intel, counter vigilance, and can we last the month without Avatar kicking in with cipher going? So I don't know the answer to that question. Um, I will say, I will say that the <laughs> risk, well, the risk of, so the risk averse parts of, of my brain are going. Taking that mission seems bad because- Very difficult. It's, well, you know, two more troops than the other mission. Maybe that's enough to make it very difficult versus mm -hmm. difficult. Maybe it's the mix. But if it does go wrong, you've definitely lost at that point. Oh, yes. It will be, it will be quite bad, I think, yeah. at that point. If you, well, at the same point, you lose this mission, all the intel costs go up. And, and you, the extra intel versus we have engineers sitting around the base. Mm -hmm. We don't need more. Then we don't need it's more. Just more. More guys for the ping more, pong room. More guys for the ping pong room. Oh, here's it's a like really got to go by the name of the operation. I think is the point where we need to start. Star Star here's Father. a really important wrinkle, though. I have an intel cache that I can research for 50 intel to get a facility lead. Does mm. that go up with Alien Cipher? The research cost. I'm looking at the gameplay guy over here. This uh, is a really important part because we base this decision on this. I think. Uh, is that set in stone, or does it go up with Cipher? I think that's going to go up because. Really. I know the black market doesn't, because I made it not do that, but I didn't make it not do it for hmm. the, uh, the... I'm gonna take that bet. I'm gonna take that bet. We're gonna do the 115 wow. intel, we're gonna take wow. vigilance. Okay. I'm gonna take that bet. We're gonna okay. do it. Alright, alright. Okay. Yeah, even though this is very difficult, it's destroy, which you can do from range. So are you gonna take, yeah. you're gonna take Beckers? I don't know who I'm gonna take. Uh, well, you can... What rank is she? She's a corporal. She's the best, probably, replacement. Does she have a promotion waiting? Yeah. Yes, she does. Oh, does that put her the sergeant, or is it her corporal promotion? You tell me. It is corporal. I so. just haven't given her ability That's yet. not super great. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I guess Becker's and Conti, unless we're taking Ocelot, which we probably shouldn't do. Um, so, <laughs> Becker's and Conti is probably it. Best handgun for me. <laughs> um, Conti's dressed up too. Sadly, we'd have to put her in plated, which is really just killing me right uh, now. Yeah. Uh, well, she, you, you know what'll kill her. You know what'll kill her is if you don't put her in armor. That'll do kill her. All right, all right, all right. Uh, all right. So we're gonna give you, you know what, Beckers? I might even give you medical protocol. No, that's that's a loser's attitude. I want more combat. That's a loser's attitude, Beagle. Don't 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 lower yourself to healing. It's just ridiculous. We must take more combat protocol. Do you have a, uh, it looks like you have Mark II Gremlins. Wait, yes. Nice. So, you've made, you've made certain changes to this game. What? Hold on, go to loadout real quick. Have I? Have you? Uh, go to loadout. What, what, what have I done? What? Go to loadout. What? What have I done? What have I done? I, I ain't done nothing. Oh, 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 no, no, this no, is. No, no, this is good, because I want to talk about this. You will notice that she's carrying a shard gun as a specialist. And um, actually, um, this is a tweak that yeah. I was playing with then. Uh, it stuck around. And I actually wanted to bring this up because I've made this tweak to my game that I'm playing at home, and I actually think it's really cool. It's a really cool addition to the specialist. It's, it is. It's a, it's a slight change to the game rule. It's not a mod. It's something that you can go in, and you actually had an article that you'd written that talked yeah, about Yeah, I did the PC was... Gamer articles where I talked about how you can tweak your own game. Yeah. Uh, and this is just a simple I and I tweak I did. Uh, and even though we haven't got it on this computer, she's got it legacy from when I loaded the save and I had the tweak on. You can see she can't select it again. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's, it's something I stole from, from Long War in that sense, is they had their supports with shotguns. Right. Uh, and it's interesting. It's interesting to have the choice between assault rifle and the close range power on a class that isn't an assault or a ranger, doesn't necessarily have the health and the running gun to use it, but it mm -hmm. lets you use it in a more 
infantry style way. It's, right. I, I like it. It's a cool change. Well, there's but, a class mod that does that too, right? One of the like the trooper mod, I think, is shotgun and assault rifle. Someone made. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, so. There's, interesting. There's, there's some interesting class mods out there. Well. Anyway, you can leave it on if you want. I just wanted to. I did just noticed it. And I wanted to call it out. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take it off for for this one. And now we now, now we can right. now we can never really do it again. <laughs> wow, thanks, people. Yeah. Just kill the mood. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so we got back because of the combat protocol. We got two slots. We're going to take a battle scan, I'm sure. Why not? Okay, sure. Yep. Uh, and then what we need is we need Conti to take the really good shotgun of the laser sight, which we might we have to free it up, or have we got it? That's 5%. That's, that's a little bit yeah, trash. You may, you may need to free it up. Yeah, we don't want the 5% one right now. We're beyond that. Uh, where are you, Devil Dog? This is the good stuff. This is the one we want. Uh, Bring you it got back in one piece. Too. Bring it back in one piece. <laughs> uh, I, who was it? It was Racket Man had the other thing, but that's fine. So, unless he had the Mimic, as I check. Yeah, because those things are kind of handy. Uh, no, he, no he's, he's got he's that. Fine. Yeah. We'll let him keep that. He can keep that one. So we're going to go into Conti. Mm -hmm. We're going to take away her lovely get-up and give her a spider suit instead. Wow, I'm going to leave those colors. That is beautiful. That's a... She's the Red Widow. Yeah. She's Hot Rod Conti. She's ready to go. Yeah, that's... All right. We've got the very nice superior laser sight. We've got the Arc Blade. Um, I'm going to bring the Flashbang. You know, I didn't know Flashbangs work against Codexes, apparently. People keep telling me. Well, it limits, when you're disoriented, it limits some of your abilities. Mm. That includes cloning, cloning yourself, so. Yeah, I didn't know that. People are like, you know, did you, you know, I'm like, no, that's actually really helpful. Um, right, so, I'm, I haven't used this on anybody yet. I'm just going to put agility on her, uh, because I haven't put it on anyone else yet. So, you know what, maybe you'll dodge something, you might go for it. Okay. Uh, we need did to you go apply those uh, the mods and no, clips and I need to quickly go and whips apply and chains and you know, my, my clipper yeah. zines to, to Morozov. Um, so we have an advanced scope for him, I believe. Uh, no one else is going to make as good use of it, I think, because he's got the chain shot. You, uh, I want really high aim on my gun of grenadiers because if chain shot misses, you're screwed. Right. So I don't like to have it miss. So if we go superior perception and we go weapon upgrade, I'm going to replace one of these probably the laser sight, because that plus five is going to help hugely for a grenadier, I don't think. Whereas the superior scope is going to make those chain shots really accurate. And it's interesting, interesting with the scopes, uh, when you shoot a target that is exposed and no cover, I didn't know it had an extra bonus as well. Yeah. Which is right. really helpful. Yep. So we're going to stick that on. Um, we have a lot of... Did, am I a cheater? I don't remember having all this. No, this is real. We have all of this stuff. Uh, I have a lot of cool stuff I haven't been using. Uh, mm. We're going to leave the EMAG on. Um, and then I think we're pretty much good. We've got main kit. We have got flashbang. We've still got our two beacons. Two, two scanners. battle scanners. It's the same loadout as last time. Um, the only thing I will do different is um, we'll take backers. And if there's nothing else for her to stick on here, we're going to give her some weapon upgrades we weren't just using because why not? Because they're there. Because they're there. They're free. So do you like the stock or do you like the repeater for this one, Pete? So I I pair repeaters in stocks. That's that's my two oh, things. Are you dirty? Uh, I am. I you, am. You will do it's, anything uh, to get the gravy. That's messed up. It's yeah. uh, it's some tasty Mark. gravy. It's some tasty <laughs> gravy. So I uh, generally I like putting the uh, the stocks on my um, uh, my specialist guns because they are the guys who do the guaranteed damage. The what's going to pop a viper off somebody, what's going to get rid of Overwatch. Have the specialist be the person who mm. uh, who handles that. I tend not to take combat protocol because I like having a flying med kit, mm -hmm. um, and so that guaranteed damage coming from the gun itself is, I think, that's right. the way I like to play. The stock meets that combat protocol the halfway. The stock meets it halfway, but you've specced into combat protocol, that's right. so you have that, so you don't need that. So the question becomes, uh, is it the increased aim, which is always good on somebody who's, you know, that's, you can never not have that. That's right. Hair trigger, that's... Probably something I would have sold at the black market. Oh, that's just me. But uh, the repeater is is uh, the repeater is a safe choice. The, safe the choice. scope and the repeater are safe choices. Okay. The advanced stock, especially for somebody who potentially could, yeah, I would actually put the advanced stock on there. Okay. And then make that a gun that I would trade off. For so that's a that's the safe item. choice, Mark. We're looking for the wild side now. What do you pick in this situation, Mark Nora? Oh uh, well, I. Well, so you already have combat protocol, so mm -hmm. I think it's stock. It's kind of redundant. Right. Um, I'd go with one of the, the small chance, big payoff ones. Yeah, because you, know? you never know when it's going to pop up. 
Dude. Wild side. Yeah. There we take go. a lot of shots. Why not, you know, instantly kill something? Well, I like the repeater because it looks cool as hell. Yeah. And uh, it is really good when it procs. So we're going to put the repeater on. The repeaters do look really awesome. They are fun. They are a cool mod. Have you seen the repeaters on, like, the sniper rifles? It's... Yeah. <laughs> I keep I keep thinking, like, that must add five pounds to the end of that already <laughs> substantial barrel. I mean, yeah. that's... All right, uh, we are ready to go here, I think. Unless you guys see anything wrong with this loadout, I'm ready to hit launch. Hit launch. Looks hit perfect. launch. I will hit, hit launch. launch. We're going. Oh, wait. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You joke, but okay. every single mission, every second I play of XCOM, I constantly, I call it the left the oven on syndrome. <laughs> I constantly <laughs> yes. feel like, oh, God, I didn't do something. Yes. I have to go back to base and turn it off before. Well, luckily, we gave you the screen. You can do that. That's true. Yeah. That's true. All right, Starfather. We're destroying a relay, I think. Yep. Yeah. I did have, I did have the uh, repeater proc killing a uh, repeater once. That was or killing a, killing a repeater or, or killing a uh, relay. Oh wow! Uh, yeah. a, I didn't even know that could happen. I guess it can. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> something it that did damage, happen, or... right, Mark? That wasn't. I don't have to talk you away about that, do I? That's like the most underwhelming repeater, though. Like that's like, man, you could have done any time, but you're gonna shoot the oh. relay with. Oh, you want to talk about underwhelming repeater stories? I have a number of those. <laughs> One hit point left, executed. <laughs> Two hit points left, Got and on fire, executed. He's extra dead. Well, every one of those, there's like full health sec the pod. I haven't had that happen. Up. Yeah, no, that happens to everybody else. Or it happens on the internet, which means it's not true. <laughs> yeah. So if Repeater you're in chat and you 100. actually did ex execute a sectopod, I totally believe you. No, you didn't. No, you didn't totally do that. I totally believe that you did that. <laughs> That's totally so a thing should just happens. make a mod with like a gun that's like repeater, 100% chance, but it has a super low chance to hit. <laughs> so, it so it's like a 5% chance to Just golden gun hit. mod. I, actually, I will say, um, I did see a video by a uh, Peruvian idol um, who, who plays a lot of XCOM. And he was, what? Go on with your story. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. He, uh, he just inhaled some healing. He, um, <laughs> yeah. He actually shot an avatar. <laughs> um, he had execute proc on a full health avatar. Ooh. Oh, which was yeah. that's handy. That was yeah. yeah. I think I've seen some screenshots of like campaigns ending with. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> things like that. Uh, yeah, things, things like that. Similar to yeah. what you're describing. All right, we have an interesting wrinkle here in that there wasn't really much good cover unless I wanted to be really slow and we can't because of the timer. So I'm sitting out in the open. And there was a pod, so if they actually, if they come up the roof, which seems unlikely, but if they come up the roof and they see us, they will have the chance of taking the anti big rush maneuver shot. And I, I, I swear I'm not a narcissist, I just call it that because that's what the I-9 calls it, so yep. I default to that. I don't have a snappy name for what that, that mechanic is otherwise. We do, we call it the anti beagle rush maneuver. <laughs> yeah. Too Pretty shy. snappy. Pretty good. Yeah. Do you like that? I, I like that. All right. I don't think I get any royalties for that. But you otherwise. don't, actually. We I, appreciate you owe us money. The council appreciates your, yeah. <laughs> For the extra work we had to do. <laughs> well, I kept saying Jake was just going to like break my legs instead of actually fixing it. So yeah. I couldn't do it anymore. So I actually have chat open and, and everybody is filling this up with all these awesome execute stories. And I, don't, I wonder what game you guys are playing. They're all false, by the way. They're, 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 they're actually all fake. Let me tell you about the time I went fishing. Um, <laughs> oh, free grapple is a free grapple. I want to get up. Like, I think I'm going to go over right. there. Yeah, I just—it's a free grapple, man. It's a free grapple for you, Jim. It's—it's it's good. We're gonna move up on. You're—you're you're worried about that line of sight activation on the right? Maybe a little bit. Give me the waypoint, game. Let's do it. There we go. We're gonna waypoint around that, Pete. I appreciate your dramatic Ooh, inhaling. Oh, look at that! You My just missed. saved you like two squares of movement, I think. Yeah, no, something was over there. Really? Yeah, you got a checkpoint oh. over there. So uh, there was somebody over there. It would have been uh, would have been an interesting turn of events. Let me see what you're talking about. Oh my god! Yeah. That's not good because if they come over here and see us, we're gonna get shot at. Yeah. I don't yeah. like this church roof at all. Yeah. I don't like this church roof. We gotta get down. <laughs> Oh no, I've set myself up for the worst thing too, which is if I shoot my own floor out too. It won't happen. It will not happen. It never it's, happens, yeah. It ne has never happened to me. What are the odds? <laughs> calculate the odds of that. Siri, calculate the odds of me completely being incompetent. Don't actually do that. Yeah. I'm going to hear him. Cancel that order, Siri. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well. We're going to sit here. 
and we're going to Overwatch, and I think nothing bad will happen. I want predictions from uh, Wildside, Mark Norda, and Safe Play, Pete Murray. Bad things always happen. No. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, Want some a mech to bombard the roof or something? That'd be amazing. <laughs> not even activated. Sectopod stands up from inside of the church. <laughs> yeah. oh. Oh. Hello, boys. Oh no. That's fair. You know, if that Razor happened, I'd say good play. No. <laughs> All right. So these so, guys patrolling. Oh. oh. What's <laughs> just chilling. He's just napping, man. He's just like. He's just like this arm is heavy. He's been hit by. He's been He's struck heavy. by. Man, I went out last night and I got absolutely <laughs> wrecked. Do you see that sectoid? Just you see, it's, it's an armor lock. Like that shield bearer exosuit, that's just locked up. He's like, yeah. dude, it's not funny. Like, yeah. I can't move. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Seriously, I need you to reach around. There's a little hole in the back. Get a paper clip, <laughs> yeah. stick it in there, and reboot the module. I need factory settings on this suit right now. Uh, we need to hop down and pray. Oh, God. So, so. We're at the church, so. <laughs> So, wait, go back and look at that pod real quick, because I was... You want to look at the pod? You want to look at the pod? <laughs> you want to look at the pod? You want to focus on this, Pete, that's what you're saying. I'm, I'm trying, to, trying to think what's going to happen when something goes... Well, he's going to wake up, Pete. Well, he's going to wake guys, up. I got that part, so... He's not going to uh, be happy. Stun Lancer, Captain, Trooper... Was it a Trooper or another I believe captain? it was a Trooper, uh, and he's, like, gophering for the Shield Bearer who's just lying around. Okay. All right. And then we had the muton on the right is is the big deal, Pete. If we got that on the he's, right. Uh, well, he only thinks he's big. <laughs> oh, well, I think, he think he's, he's pretty big. Think he's big. Uh, let's have a look at our objective here, because we need to start thinking about a plan. I think, uh, as, as we were saying before the mission, through the windows, we can sniper. Are those second story? No, those are first story windows. We can sniper this objective if we get close enough to see it. So worst case, we can take these guys out. We can take them, catch them napping, as it were, because I'm really funny. Uh, and then... Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. Uh, and then once we've caught a napping, if that muton comes in from the side, we can roll around, swing like a door, and we can set up in this cover while we're sniping the objective, and so that way we can do the objective without being flanked. So I think if we go now, we're going to save ourselves time and money and worry, and I think it's going to be great. I agree. So we're gonna, What we're gonna, could possibly go wrong? We're going to do this right now. You know what? If it goes wrong, hey, it was great fun, right? And we had it. We all had fun. We all had a ball. We all had fun. If these guys don't move, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna be so mad. Uh, so we're gonna Overwatch everyone. So this is kill zone is like the anti anti beagle rush maneuver. It's like the part of the game where I say no, thank you. Like I'm just gonna keep being really really exploitative. Uh, and we're gonna ambush him. Here it goes. Here it goes. That's a good shot. Actually, it's pretty bad. Enjoy this while you know. Oh, oh good. I'm gonna good. say more. Oh. <laughs> good to put in 11 yeah. at the end there. That was, uh, that was good. You enjoy a lot of these things for yeah. a while. Like the nap and like, nap yeah, He's up, he's up, he's good. Oh, well, yeah. It was an officer, too. I was awake the whole time. Oh, I'm ready. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oof. You should go back to sleep. You just go lie down, kid. It's like, I got the officer! Good job. <laughs> got him. Oh, we're not done yet. We're still killing. It is good, 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 good. Go lie down, kid. Oh, oh go, man. Go take a dirt nap. Oh, man. He's not waking up this time. So... Yeah. And Stun Lancer's like, where did my friends go? Lance is just like, no! It's like, uh... Well... Well, well, well. <laughs> um, now, I do believe... Where is our main man, Salzback? My main man, He's right back, right there. So, I think Scanning Protocol doesn't end the turn. This is key, Pete. Okay, I'm, this is, this I totally is, this is pay attention. So you're gonna, I am paying attention. <laughs> Tell me more. Because now, if we move up and we activate the neutron on the right, bada bing is bad. I mean, right. We got, we got a flank now, we got a problem. Right. But if we scan before we do anything and without wasting souls back shot, we can find out what we're looking at if they're close enough. Okay. So we're gonna scan straight up. And then decide how much crap we are actually. That's right, so souls back yeah. is very commanding to his robot. He says, Go. robot, right what's there. over there? Oh, yeah. oh, they're real close on the right. Look at that. Is that, a, is that them? That they are sneaking on me. That is them. Oh. They that are plotting on me over there. That, that's a sectoid. Yep. And a muton. And yep. So you know what? I'm going to play I'm gonna play the slow game. Oh, 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 look at that. Look at that. Okay, so we got... That's a really long range. So we got two sectoids and a muton close up. Yep. So we, we move, we activate. That would have been real bad, you know? We would have been caught in a crossfire between two mutons and a lot of mind control. I think, you know what, a lot of people yell at me 
to, uh -huh. uh, a lot of people yell at me that I sit still, but with five turns left, I reckon we sit here, we take them out, we overwatch everyone else. I'm thinking these guys are going to walk up on us into view, all these guys, we, wa we waste them, then we move up, we've got four turns to get the objective. Oof. All right. If that mutant doesn't die, though. Yes. Oh my God. That's a lot of grenade <laughs> on a roof. I, uh, pretty juicy grenade. I'm yeah. glad Jake isn't here because Jake plays really fast. And I feel like he'd be like just shaking his head like legally you've lost uh, the power. I play fast, yeah. I'm, I'm horribly You gotta go fast. I was being silent about it. <laughs> you, uh, gotta, you gotta go fast. Yeah. Well, we don't have that engineer, but... <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about because <laughs> that was Original Hedgehog. Yeah. I don't know who you mean. Original Hedgehog. Yeah, right. I don't know if uh, smoking that cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's... Good cardio. Yeah. Sanic, no. <laughs> All right, so we need to finish this little chappy off. So he's got a uh, five health, five effective, six effective health there. Um, so we can kill that hopefully with yeah. a rifle shot, I think. We're playing the sit still game. People always yell at me for playing the sit still game. And you know what? I don't have anything else to say about that. Yeah, no. that's yeah. what they do. That's what they <laughs> do, man. <laughs> I'm yeah. done with it. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to reload and overwatch everyone else as Jake rolls in his uh, office, yeah. knowing this is he's happening. He's just starting to spin, no, he's just, confused. He's just looking at the AI, AI behavior and going, I wonder how many things can plausibly carry grenades <laughs> and throw them blindly into the woods. Man, if they could, if these mutons could grenade on activation, now that would be a different plan I'd be enacting right now. Please move, mutons. Please come and play the game that I'm not <gasps> They're playing. They're away. These ones are walking away, They're but we've got away. our money on the right guys. I think they're going to visit the church roof. No. no. Okay. So we've wasted a turn, effectively. But in another way, they've moved away, and now. Out of okay. Of so you, so you send your send your scout up and see if you can get a. As long as we don't see him through the stained glass window, which would be terrible, uh, we can move up and we can start doing this. We can start doing this, man. So if we go, that doesn't look like it's in the blue move, but I'm pretty sure it is. Because I think it's when it turns yellow, it's yeah. when it's the dash. So if we move down with Ben David, we're going to see if we can see anything first. There's going to be one stun lancer down there. <laughs> oh, hey! Just napping mm -hmm. in the bush. Yeah. Uh, oh, what? He's in the box. Exactly. Uh, Souls Booney. Where can you hack to, Souls Booney? Uh, the, um... Oh, yeah, it's our... Let us see, because you know what? It's free. Let us see what Souls Booney can hack. He's got decent hack. Tech score. He's a good hacker, so funny. Yeah, and you got the Mark II, so mm. that bonus. He's got the Mark II Gremlin. He's got um, oh. oh, and he's got the uh, the upgraded Skulljack Skull Mine, which gives you another plus twenty five. Yep. So straight up, we can just get this for free, which is handy. I don't know why. I I'm just gonna get it because it's free. <laughs> Fail. What? <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Womp, womp, womp. Never, never rely on anything <laughs> Soulsbag does, kids. It's yeah, there's always dodged. No, you hack can dodge. that hack dodge. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> no, you. Souls can do a lot. Oh Souls yes. Souls can do a lot. Yes, yes. So. Souls, Souls is kind of good. Not as much as the real life Souls, but. <laughs> Mars of. I feel like this will activate. If not, I'm happy because then it'll probably happen soon. No, we're good. Okay, well I'm happy. I'm I'm a I'm a nice slow dude, you know. I just turtle along, exactly yeah. in defiance of what you're meant to do. That's affirmative. Oh yeah, whatever works. And whatever for everybody works. who's worried about timers, if you if you plan ahead, I guess you can play them. It's yeah, it's a bit of planning ahead, and you know when it all goes wrong, it goes wrong spectacularly. Moving. Yes, that it does. But when it goes right, you look really good, and that's really the only way I trick people into thinking I'm good at the game. Yeah. Uh, is just that. You just edit out the. Yeah, oh, exactly. yeah. Oh, the stream shut down. Oh, not That's again. On Twitch. I don't know what's happening. I, I don't know what's going on. You'd make a good streamer, Mark. Yeah. You've got the right mindset. So we're going to Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. And now I think. Let's see what happens. I, I feel like the one inside is going to probably move. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, no. oh, oh. It's the right. They, they came back. They heard a noise. Ooh. That's good. I missed, like, the whole party. Man. Oh, God. They're both missing. The sector is like turning the wheel, like miming yeah, right now. Yeah, it's great. Like, like, why are all these people oh shooting my. at me? Oh, and the roof is That's on crazy. fire. You missed three, uh, three hollow targeted. It's you know, it, you know, it giveth and it taketh away. The uh, the RNG, it will giveth now. It's yeah. all right. Yeah, you're about to get it. <laughs> Bradford's telling me that I haven't got any turns left. That's meant to be yeah. your job, Pete. That's, that's uh, you're, yeah, you're central. You know, you know, I was told. Oh. oh, oh, oh. 
Woo hoo! All right. Well, that was a slow play. Come back. To, well, I mean, you can always shoot it if you can get line of sight. Yeah. The only problem is moving left will probably reveal the other guys. Right. But we don't have a long time to play that game because, like you said, we're running out of time. So Conti needs to come right. Okay. Conti needs to kill dramatically the muton or at least heavily wound it. Got a high crit chance. See ya, buddy. He's right See, in the middle I, of gesture. I wish I could summon crits rude. like this. I wish I could just be like, and I need you to crit now. Pete, you need to convert to the ways of Talon Rounds and Laser Sights. I, it's a beautiful No, I, I, have, I worship at that church. I had a... Um, I, had, <laughs> I never see you. Yeah. Well, I go to the what 1130 go, service. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I go Wednesday night. Um, no, I had a... Um, Seems doable. Yeah, I had a, a guy get it and actually got death from above through the AWS. So that plus Laser Sight... Uh, so... You know, shotgun plus laser sight plus talent rounds. Um, he executed seven advent soldiers on one Damn. turn. Yeah, it was oh, it was gorgeous. Jeez. That's all right. And uh, the best part was um, the personality that was on him was uh, was laid back. So he uh, thank you. Yeah, you know, uh, I got a few. He did all that. He was like, "Did you see that?" And I was like, "Yes, I did." Doing the nonchalant brush off his gun. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Wow, this thing gets hot when you put that many yeah. rounds through it. And you're left. Right here. We need to start moving on the objective as much as I like to torment people by not doing anything. We do need to actually start moving on the objective, unfortunately. Um, we need to watch that zone, too. If Sol's money stays here, you can probably hit him from there. Uh, we've got Prez is just going to grenade this chappy if I take a reload. Um, and we're, we're trying to use the three turns as best as we can. It could all go wrong, but you know what? It, it'll be fine. It's going to be great. You know what? It's gonna be good. So I think the other sectoid is at the end of the church back here. So I'm gonna to try to get both because aliens are not allowed in church. There was only one. Mm. Wasn't there, there two the sectoids? No, the other pod had two, the two sectoids. Well, you know but what? It could be. It could be another pod, Pete. All right, shut up. Hey, you know what? It could. <laughs> I think you got another one too. Yeah. I got two sectoids. Yeah, you know, two sectoids. The I other one. You don't understand that. The other one just blew up. <laughs> He's nothing left. I don't like your sass. No, nope. uh, there's, there's no sass. There's no sass. Do you think I'm if I stay totally here, which he will fall through the floor? Do yes. I, do, do you think that roof will blow up to where she is? Yes. I don't like your attitude. Hard yes from Pete. I don't like your attitude, but I'm going to believe in it. I, it I, secretly, sorry. I secretly think that you want to believe me and want to blame me for this movement <laughs> as yep. well. Last this time is what I, I actually think is happening. Last time I didn't trust you, I got wounds that I didn't need to take, so I'm going to trust you. Okay. Uh, and we're moving on the objective very slowly. There's the other sectoid, it was that car. Yeah. It was. He was driving away. Car, it get, it yeah. gets confused. It hasn't even got wheels. That sectoid needs help. Uh, we got these guys coming in. I'm praying they're all going to die. Well, they... You know, the odds are good. The odds are good. I've got good odds on at least one of them dying. The sectoid's still trying to drive away there. He's, he's not getting very far. Check out that ride. Oh, that's a hot ride. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... You... When are you leaving? <laughs> when are you... I'm, I'm here all night. <laughs> Nice. Ooh. Two. Oh! Oh, yeah. oh, oh no! Dodge. It's time to hit now, guys! There we go. Oh, we're we're okay. driving away. <laughs> we're getting away. <laughs> By the way, this car, though. <laughs> Talk about that car. <laughs> Talk about gonna get you. environments. You know what, Pete? I could have stayed there, and you are just... I, I'm not going to fault you for that one, though. I'm just... The RNG, move, uh, the RNG changes every time you move. Yeah. If you hadn't, then it would have gone through. That's an incredibly good point. Um, <laughs> we need to move up here and... Oh! I... I oh! Is that... No. That's not Souls Bunny's thing. I can just see them. Um, we need to get in. We don't want to activate these boyos. Uh, I think if I move up to here, we will. Or do I just take them on? Uh, it's two secatoids and uh, I think we just take them on at this point. Because we need to get Mr. Objective. But we can also get the combat protocol. I need to start moving up either way, is, is yep. a big rub. Yep. Because if I'm not in position by next turn, I lose. Uh, and even at this rate, it's looking pretty It's looking pretty scary. You know what? L let's have fun. Let's just move up and activate it. Let's have a good time. Is that gonna? Yep. There it goes. If you activate them now, you can't accidentally activate them later. Yep. So... Well, that's okay. good. Now so, I can't so be you're, fooled. You're intentionally making it harder for yourself so you don't accidentally make it harder for yourself later. Well, you know, Pete, harder is one man's term. 
Oh, I, another term is I might grenade them both, and that would be good. So. Ooh. Ooh, that would be good. <laughs> I'm just trying to get the grenade. I'm not trying to do anything wrong. This isn't illegal. I'm just trying to get the grenade. I can't. <laughs> Yeah. It's too smart, it won't let me, that's fine. So, I'm pretty sure I've got Mr. Mutant on the right. We can do a double NATO, um, and then we can shoot him with everyone else. So if I... I don't think we'll even blow up the tree stump, I think I'm going to be A-OK. -okay. What could possibly go wrong? Tree stumps are strong. Yeah. I believe it will I believe it will last. That's a bad tree, man. It did you not. Sh you, shouldn't, <laughs> you shouldn't plant trees like that because stuff like this happens. Yeah. You guys, yeah. It's only uh, it was clearly highlighted as being well, destroyed. Well, maybe you guys can add that in another <laughs> update, Mark, all right? <laughs> so all right. now. All right. So it's fine. So now. Yeah, it's it's yeah. all good. It's, yeah, it's, no, it's this perfectly This is, this is, this is perfectly all recoverable. Gravy. In fact, it's time. Uh-oh. <laughs> Why do you say that, Mark? I don't know. <laughs> Whenever someone says you have time. no confidence in me. Uh, oh, are uh, you going to dead eye the, the Pete? I don't want to count, so I want you to count how much health the muton has. That's your job. Three. Looks like seven. Is that seven? I don't Pete? have my glasses on. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's cruel then. I think that's eight. That's eight. That's eight. Okay. So six. To, oh, I need the dead eye. That's fine because you're not going to miss the ninety-three. Yeah, 93s. Yeah, that never misses. It's an easy shot for young operators. So you're dead now, and that is handy for me. Okay. So now the muton is dead, and that's a large threat uh, in, the, in the gravy, you put in the gravy. Um, so we just need to kill the rest of them. Who has the most health here? The... It's kind of a tie. Yeah, Trooper's one more. Trooper has a little bit more, so... It's, it's actually not a tie at all, says people. Yeah. It's actually just, just not a tie. Um, I probably want to come over here with Morozov. No, I want to come over here with someone else. Oh, I have Death from Above too, Andy. Um, so I can even go... 100, pretty good. 100 is pretty good, 100 generally doesn't miss. <laughs> um, can I grapple that anywhere really fun? No, we'll save that for the next turn. Um, I can get Implaceable too if this kills, which would be nice. So we're gonna leave the church, we're gonna smash more windows. Yeah. Church. Still too much of the church left, so... <laughs> so Jeez, dead. summon crits. Crits are very, very good. Crit shotgunners are slightly powerful, and I recommend them. Also, this is a squatty, not my usual ranger, so you won't get implaceable, but that's fine. I knew that, I was testing yeah. it. Pete uh, failed. I, knew I did, I, I did. Awesome. I, was, I was reading Mark, chat at the Mark time. Mark gave me the look, yeah, I, I was like, I was, yeah. this guy, he doesn't know. We already me. have a complex system of winks and stuff that we do. Yeah, um, already, and it's only been like five minutes. Yep. So. I have nothing to lead off to that. That, <laughs> yes. just, that just died. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so going... we'll stop talking about that. And uh... mm. there's no crit on Chris. He did no. not Chris crit solves crit, back. Chris Chris, Chris solves Chris, back. Uh, Keep going. Crit. <laughs> this is another strong one. <laughs> but that's okay because yeah. it was all planned. Yep. Ninety three. Already hit one. This is an efficient an efficient use of rounds. It was all planned. Uh, so now we get to move up. We have... I killed the Muton, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. There's yep. two sectoids. Right it's there. the sectoids left, and I can see the good old-fashioned relay. Uh, so now we left... Here's one I prepared earlier. We left Morozov. Because <laughs> he is going to have a good old time here. We're going to blow up some cover. We're going to get to some sectoid cooking. What's the way you like to cook sectoids? Man, uh, I, like uh, to, I like to throw them in a big old pot and boil them up. Nothing yeah? like a big old boiled pot of sectoids. Just get a big old sectoid fry going on. A big old sectoid boil, put them in a pot and boil up. Sec boil, boil, oh, sectoid. Where are you from, Pete? Where are <laughs> so, so, I grew up uh, in Tennessee, and there was a, a catfish place uh, I it near was us. mildly offensive Alabama. It, uh, <laughs> no, it was just very offensive <laughs> yeah. Tennessee. Yeah. It was, yeah. So, um, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so uh, where do we I'm go just gonna, from here? I'm just going to stop now. Mark, how do you like to cook a sectoid? With, you know, all of the casual racism that <laughs> possibly... Yeah. Um, <laughs> one turn left. Let's uh, focus on... Hey, look, it's Central reminding us that we haven't... Uh, Central's just about to have an aneurysm. Come on, you One idiot. turn left. You know how mad my Central is every campaign? Because <laughs> I always let it go to one turn. He's like, come on, you can't do that! You let the yeah. Avatar yeah, Project yeah, yeah. timer start. Well, everyone gets so mad, man. Tygen, Shen. Tygen's pretty cool. Shen gets mad at me. Uh, we're going to take a Deadeye shot. Uh, not Deadeye, we're going to take a normal shot. But she's a Deadeye, so... 
Um, the sector ran off in fear, and that makes me think there's one more pot out there too. So definitely. I'm going to set up definitely. a firing line uh, in the classic military tactic. And set up a firing line, and we're just going to take it Maybe out. Maybe you should uh, stand next to that propane tank and get a good, yeah. uh, good firing line going there. You know what? You said it now, Pete. I want you to tell me what the advantages of standing next to the propane tank are in bullet form. <laughs> well, on a cold afternoon, it'll keep yeah. it warm. So, yeah. uh, all right, all right. You, you want to sell me some propane and propane yeah. accessories? Yeah, Pete. We're going to move back. And we're going to set up a hilariously unfair firing line, but I don't think he'll path back into it, actually. I think they generally... No. They, they run off and they get their friends, and they're like, no, don't go there. Just sit here yeah, and exactly. wait. Wait, Everyone's wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I really... This is one of my favorite new mechanics in XCOM 2. The way they do this, the way they run off and get friends. I absolutely love this. Like, I, I love it. I love when they do this. I love how they don't run back into your trap. Usually, they're smart, and they're like, no, don't go. They're there and then you have to go root them out. I, I think it's fantastic. I, I love this mechanic. Yeah, the fallback, I think, worked out really well, because they'll, yeah, they'll kind of join up another pod, and um, yeah, it won't, it doesn't automatically just like aggro them right at you. They, oh, they're smart. Yeah. They'll sit right out of range, because they know that you're there, um, and they're really smart about it. We can see the window he like burst out of yeah. over <laughs> here. Throw the battle scanner after him. Yeah, he's just like, oh! oh! Now, I might have the number here, maybe. Oh, maybe, baby. So, right, so Lancer, Sectoid, Muton. If they don't move, well, no, if they're not going to move, I can't kill Zonima either. So, if they ain't going to move, we're going to spring the sniper down. We'll start the dead eye. Oh no, we'll set up two kill zones. Oh god, that will be really good. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to prepare to set up some kill zones. So what actually happened is that Beagle went through fifty-six different tactical situations in his head then he just <laughs> algorithmically like, oh, decided yeah. which one was going to be the is that what one. it sounded like for you guys yeah the whole time i'm like many aliens make <laughs> shooting i assume there was like some kind of minority report like screens flashing around <laughs> yeah your mind yeah i have little hands going <laughs> in my imagination that brings the screens around all right so we're going to see here if they don't move we'll throw another scan out we're going to get ready for a good old time if they do move in we're just going to shoot them up so it's their choice they can choose how they want to get shot at oh. Your move. Back on <laughs> Overwatch. Reload. And you can just sit there, buddy. You're good. Let's All see right. what happens. They ain't moving. They didn't move. They're I'm smart. Hmm. So we're going to set it up. So we're going to bring uh, Shade down so she's got the kill zone. And we are going to try to be very cheeky people with this. Okay. And I believe it may work quite nicely. So we need to set this up because we can't shoot. Uh, after, mo after moving, obviously. So we're gonna set this up, get everyone reloaded, locked, loaded, good to go, and then we're gonna take them out. So Overwatch, we need to reload our main man, Souls back. Souls bunny, who's been doing pretty well. Overwatch, and sure, have some cover. That's, aw that's awfully generous of you there. Yeah. All right, now this is it. So we're gonna go. The downside is we are activating on our turn, so if things go wrong, it will be quite bad for us. Uh, but what we want to do... <gasps> you still have... You still have a flashbang, don't you? I do have a flashbang, yes. That's not a terrible idea, Pete. If I can get in range to throw it without them seeing me, that's not a terrible idea. First, I'm going to hedge my bets and set up the kill zone. Lockdown. Uh, and hope this works. That is a nice big cone. I love kill zone on the snipers. Like, I get it on the AWC all the time, yeah. but it takes a sniper to show you just how yeah. good the ability is. Yeah. I can free action activate these guys too. Because I'm not gonna be able to get the flash banging, but I can I can be like, hey guys, what's up? And I can just, just jump up here. Travel to that very secure floor. Oh, this is safe. This is yeah. our shot. So it's like, hey dude, what's going on? Calabunga. Huh? Now if the kill zone doesn't work, we're dead. But I believe in the kill zone to work. God, this is gonna be He's angry, man. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of busted. <laughs> They always yeah. I should have loaded before yeah. I went on patrol today. There's a good shot on nice. Mr. Lancer. The sector's just sitting in the back like, yeah, go get him. Like, yeah, I told you I, they were I, tough, I told man. you about him. <laughs> okay, Shade is thinking very carefully about whether to shoot the Lancer again. Oh my oh, god! No. Oh, this is just, what happens when you double kill zone. Yeah. It's just like, bodies are flying, man. Alright, so nobody died. We did a lot of damage off two kill zones. That's pretty good. 
this guy has the flashbang. Yeah, right? we have the flashbang, so we can flashbang the lances. Oh, 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 you can get everybody in that building. Yeah, um, that's a trooper on the right, I think. Uh, yep. One health. Ooh. One health trooper. Ooh. Um, but don't cut him out of this fight yet, Mark, all right? That's just disrespectful yeah. to him. I don't think I can get the mutant. No, because he's under high cover. So I better hope we can get some very, very nice grenades. Oh, that's an interesting place to grenade from. Um, does anybody have a Mimic Pico? Yes. Yes. So what we'll do is we'll get some grenades going if we can. Where is Morozov? Morozov. We're going to move up to the trash bin, and we're going to put them in the trash, hopefully. Mor Morozov has no I grenades. I see what you did there. He has no grenades, so that was actually a pun for no reason. Uh-huh. Um, but we've got... We don't we need, need a reason for puns. <laughs> we need to kill the Lancer. We need to kill the Muton. I need a grenade, man. I need a grenade like hell. Um, and I haven't got, unless, I can't quite get to the propane tank, so I can't Yeah, can't really quite get to that gray really cover that. over there. So, so, so you do drop a grenade in that corner of the building underneath the trooper, you might knock the floor out from underneath him too. I so you Beckers wreck, can get that. Beckers! Wreck the cover. We're gonna make a little bit of a charge. Cool. Let's see what Beckers can do. Man. What can you do, Beckers? This is the time to find oh, no, out. It's, it's, what mm. can you do? Beckers might kill this person for me. And I am willing to find out, so we're gonna go ahead and plasma grenade this. Here this is go. what corporals do to catch up. Yeah. The things they have to do. Uh, I don't think it'll quite kill him. Uh, but he'll be close, so that's good. Conti's still waiting too. Um, that's my two lowest ranked troops yeah. up there. No, just a coincidence. Yeah, weird how that happened. Yeah, that's, that's, that's yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we want to try and get a flank on Mister or Lancer over on the right if we can, but I don't think anyone's ready, except for Conti. Um, so we could move in with Conti um, to here, in fact. We can get... I'm not sure if that's quite... Uh, that's a flank, actually. That should be a flank, because they step out now, which is quite generous. That's one Lancer dead. That's another one dead. We'll throw the Mimic to confuse the Muton combined with the Suppression, and we should be good. I would pray. What, what could possibly go wrong? Nothing will go wrong. In fact, I think I have, a, I have a book to that, so we'll actually have to not suppress the Muton, but that's, that's totally fine. So we'll move up. Now you seven on you. This won't miss. Not on live TV, it won't. No. Oh, yeah, it's impossible. Everyone's fallen off of that shield bearer and taken naps. I love it. It's team yeah. spirit. Yeah. Uh, we need your beacon, so don't do nothing just yet. Prez, you can't see the other Lancer, unfortunately. You got an 83 through cover. That's the power of superior scope and PCS stack. Is you get some real good shots. Uh, but on heavy cover muton, it's not quite as good. Um, I am willing to give him the suppression in this instance then. Mm -hmm. Sure. That'll stop him from hitting the beacon so he's not going to burst it down before the rest are done with it. Before they've chewed their food. Right. Um, then we can run Ben David up. We'll just place the, the new beacon from here. Uh, I'm going to run, run Ben David up because if we're in for a penny, we're in for a pound. We've already got someone out of cover. Just run through this gunfire. Uh, hold it. Stop okay, it. go back. Right. Go back. See, that, that's, that's, that's meant to happen, right? Yeah. That happens on purpose. It, it, it totally does. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is. Yeah. Um, we're going to throw the Mimic. Uh, you know what? Let's just, let's just put it over here. Let's just make it Out of cover. Easy. Out of cover. Well, I've got other troopers not in cover as well, and I know they like the beacon, but I just want to be sure that they got it. I really want them to have yes. the catnip. Yep. I want them to play with holograms. So we're going to throw the beacon, and this lets us just, you know, go balls to the wall on this turn, hopefully. Unless things go completely wrong. Which they could. Three damage, that's a good start. Sectors don't do a lot on pistol wise. Yep. The Muton's running. Ooh, Ooh oh. alive. Ooh, the That Muton is very bad. It. Now we're in a little bit of. Oh, kill zone! Yes, we're, you're still in the kill zone, Muton. Please. Oh, is you it Souls back or is it Shade shooting? Find out. It's Souls back. Soul's back. Soul's yep. You're still in the kill zone, baby. Don't let Souls back in his zone. <laughs> yeah, he got promoted off that. Nice. Definitely. Lancer's gonna embarrass. Oh, oh. stop running into the zone! <laughs> Did I you not see? <laughs> I actually. They must be out of bullets by now. I didn't think of this. If you took out the commentary, I just look really smart. I didn't even think of drawing them into the kill zone. This is amazing. This oh, is yeah. uh, this is yeah. quite nice. Get so it back over it. Right, nice. Yeah, I mean, you it, see, we'll put the mimic beacon inside the kill zone. Put this back <laughs> in there. Yeah. 
This is the only And he missed! Th oh, this guy man. should have been the captain. That guy actually knows what to do, apart from shooting at the beacon, which is not the smart yeah. thing to do. Yeah. Everything else, brilliant. He's like, sir, I shot at the blue hey. person! Hey, he went away. <laughs> what the? You gotta kill the blue person, right? You gotta stop Sonic. Alright, we gotta come down with the... Sword. Yes, it is sword time. It is 100% sword time, and I, I thank you for that good move. You're welcome. Anytime. It's absolutely sword time. Sword o'clock. Sword time, baby. It's so hashtag sword o'clock. Hashtag sword o'clock. Here we go. Don't hit the truck and kill yourself. <laughs> Yeah. Crit sword. You don't see that word. Time often. turned to a pad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, I don't know. Like, safe play. Safe play. Oh, Pete. oh. Wild side mark. What do we do to this last sector? We've got him where we want him. Do we try to arrest him? Who do yeah. we take him down with? I mean, what do you do here? Oh man. What's, I mean, you can try point? some crazy stuff because you have like two combat protocols like <laughs> that can just murder him automatically. So. I, it's a shame we don't have something fun like setting him on fire and putting him in acid and this is what Pete know, does for flash fun. Banging him. Yeah. This is this yeah. is Pete's idea it is, of fun, it is, by the way. It is. I'm a little little disturbed by the things that this is bringing out. <laughs> I, you know what? Just take him down. Just take him down. No, you know what? I like your attitude, Pete. We're gonna play with him. And this, oh. is, this is on you. Oh, by the way. this is you did this. this. Is, I just took, so we're gonna give him a buddy. I took two points in chaos and in evil for <laughs> for that. We're gonna give him a buddy. And we're just gonna be really mean. You're gonna suppress him. I wanna. Maybe you wanna play with your friend, huh? Su suppression wow. stacks. So I want this guy before he dies to know he was so incompetent he <laughs> couldn't even hit the point black beacon. That's the kind of person I am. We're gonna Overwatch in case he tries to run. You gotta play the game. You either play or you die. This is uh, this is cruel. Can we show this? Kind of is this oh, yeah. okay to yeah, show? Yeah. Well, we gotta just... change that rating. At the beginning yeah, exactly. Of Fortunately, the streams aren't rated by S ESRB. Psychological yeah. game. Good, but I'd... if you have children, Man, send me to bed now. Involved in <laughs> the following content. I think it, the game actually won't even let me play the turn now. It's just like you can't do that. I did yeah. Overwatch, and we're just. We're just chilling. It's, it's thinking about it, I suppose. This is where like I've, I've broken things just through pure sadism that was unnecessary. Yeah, that's alright. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Such <laughs> I mean, to yeah, be fair, is. if you're stuck in this position, you're probably thinking about what your next move is. It, it might. I might have been too sadistic. I think. It should. It should resolve itself. Yeah. So while we while we wait for it to resolve itself, I'd like to hear uh, the breakdowns from my junior commander and I don't know what title we give you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, from, oh from whatever. Kind of just whatever. On, on the mission, how do you think this yeah. went? What was the review of this mission? Um, your your skills are unquestioned. Uh, mine generally are. This is fair. This is <laughs> yeah. how it should be. Um, this is uh, this has been good. So let's actually uh, come back to the studio real quick because uh, mm -hmm. we'll we'll wait to see if this resolves itself. It's and too graphic. It doesn't. It'll it'll. It's, it's too, too graphic like, for oh, TV. God, you can't, so, oh, so you can't show that. Oh, yeah. we can't. Um, no, thank you very much for coming. Oh, out thank you. This. So that was um, awesome. Yeah, no, this has been fun, and um, you are actually doing a special stream from here for uh, your folks tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I am. I am. So uh, tomorrow afternoon, starting at. This hour, about mm -hmm. four o'clock, yep. uh, East Coast time. That's going to equate to what? About ten o'clock back, East Coast of Australia. Oh, I should know this. It's 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 like around the morning over there. Yeah. Um, you know what? Google it. You know, I, yeah. I don't know okay. what the GMT is, yeah. but uh, yeah, around this time tomorrow, we're doing a stream. Tell them what we got from Pete. Uh, we're yeah. gonna have uh, different tell members people. of the team. Yeah, tell us. Yeah, what do we have? Um, so we're gonna have different guys from the uh, the team come on and. Uh, Provide helpful junior commander commentary for this. Um, keep coming through as well, too. Hopefully, we'll be able to continue this campaign. Uh, we'll yes. come back in and see if that sectoid ever moved or didn't. Or we're we're, we're going to get up. the uh, we're going to yeah. get the best boy, and he's going to move that sectoid, yeah. and we're going to just move on. Uh, yeah. that'll be fine. And that'll be great. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming on. Thank it was you a pleasure very much. To have us. My official knighted co-commander. This, this dude's legit, man. He's yeah. got the skills. And uh, Mark, thanks for coming out. Yeah, no you, problem. Uh, you, I mean, you have to go you back. You had the title of whatever, I think, yeah, but I, I appreciate you coming nonetheless. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'll do what I can. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, we'll uh, be on social media. Watch for the video on demand. Tell your friends to watch Beagle Rush. And we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, that.
God, I hope it actually. Wait. Oh, God, help me. All right. All right. <laughs> oh. Are we? We we are. All right. Go ahead. Okay. All right. So uh, what were you doing? Oh, uh, I think actually I broke it. Uh, are we on? Yeah, we're alive. I think actually I might have broken it. This is the special bonus move. I hit Y and an Overwatch. This might actually. Yeah, it was my fault. Yeah. Oh. It was perfect. It was my fault. Oh, see, see. see? It's thinking about it. It just freezes now. Oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah. You have to make a lot of noise. You've got to believe. I believe. I believe in Sectoid. I don't think he's got it. You don't, don't think, think he's got, got it? it? He's got a good pose, man. Oh. Oh. Too bad. Well, the moral of the story is it's always Beagle's fault. That's, you know what, ironically, that's exactly what Chad is saying. <laughs> they are well, they are well trained to say that. There yeah. you go. It was actually Beagle's fault. He just, yeah. he was pressing Flawless. Flawless victory. It flawless was. Flawless victory. It was a flawless victory. All right. All right. All right let's come back to the oh, studio. Yeah, we're back. Hey, remember oh, all that stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> remember all that stuff I said two minutes ago? Remember the part where Beagle said I was a co-commander? Yeah. You do remember that part, right? Google the GMT, yeah. remember that part? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta figure out what the come time zone is. Come back tomorrow, watch Beagle this Rush, time. I think yep, you said. You got it. All right, yeah. great. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 First time.